Hello. Oh, wow. It has been a long time, hasn't it? It has been so long. Good evening, everybody. Happy Thursday. I hope everyone is doing well. This is our Lover's Coral session back on track, and it's our first stream back together. Because technically, yeah. well, technically, the first stream <laughs> is me solo, but oh god. Realistically yeah, speaking, yeah, you streamed earlier this week. But, but realistically, this is, this is stream, but yeah. But this is this. Realistically, this is our return stream. <laughs> I love how it's pinned. Yes, Aura. <laughs> Every, of course, it's always yes, Aura. Always yes, Aura. Why is my thing there? I'll have to fix that later. Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna fix that momentarily. There we go. Okay. Hello, Astra. Hello. Mm hmm. Always, yes, Aura. Who are you people? Why am I here? <laughs> that timing. That Please, someone clip that moment. That was actually perfect timing right there. <laughs> that was actually perfect timing. I can't wait to see that clipped. Yeah, welcome, Faze Daniel, Lyra, JBN, Matt, uh, Moonred, mm -hmm. Bed, uh, Unikitty, uh, Key. Uh, welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome! I hope everyone is doing well! <laughs> Long time no see. Hisashiburi desu ne. Hisashiburi desu ne. Oh my god, that clip is so good. <laughs> And it's all started just because I said yes, Aura. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to talk about a lot of stuff. We're going to talk about um, what our vacation is all about. We're going to be talking about some animu. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about some wrestling. I don't know what else we're going to talk about, but you know what? Just just keep in mind, this is the idea. I think one of, the, one of us needs to close the door because I hear some echo. My door's already closed. Oh, okay. Well, I must be too loud then. Hold on, let me close my door then. Sorry, Artie. All right. Anyway, here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. First of all, how you guys been? I hope you guys have been doing well. I know I asked that same question back on Tuesday, but realistically speaking, this is a good time for us to start talking about our, our shit, shoot our shot, and let's just have so let's just have a good old time. <laughs> Boy, uh, we took a vacation, kind of. It was a hectic vacation. And now we need a vacation from our vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Doing okay. Went and look at a house with mom. Ooh. Ooh. Are you getting a house? new house, new home? Let's go. Or if you're just doing it for fun, then that's fine too. <laughs> but other than yeah, that, like your parents buying the house. Technically, yeah. That's what my parents do. Yeah. I mean, technically, we bought our place, so... Yeah, yeah. That was a while ago. That's not news. Almost two years ago. Well, I mean, it's still surreal. Even if it's, like, two years ago, it's still pretty surreal that we were able to actually get a house. It is. Because, like, it's super rare to get nowadays. And plus, like, every economy. Yeah. But we're not going to talk too much about the sad stuff. It's all about tonight's fun times. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> since we since we brought up the topic already, should we talk about what <laughs> you got your report ready for what I did on my summer vacation? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do this. I'm really yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah. So <clears throat> I guess I'll start off what happened. Yeah. So if for some reason by now you guys aren't aware of what we've been up to, um, we went on a hiatus slash vacation because we were in the process of finally, after four heckin' years, finally had a proper wedding celebration. Yatta! You see, if, yeah. this, if this if this was edited right now, I I put I probably put the sound effects of like children screaming like yeah and the popping confetti. <laughs> Spoiler alert, that's totally what I'm going to do. <laughs> but yeah, um, we were setting that up. So those of you who needed context, 
Um, we say proper wedding celebration because um, we couldn't have one due to COVID. Yeah, and I, it was literally at the prime just starting. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I constantly have to clarify. We're married. We have. We, but we so have why? Married. Yeah, I keep having to clarify that either. You know what? As a matter of fact, there. <laughs> now everybody can't taste <laughs> it. Sometimes you got. Sometimes there are necessary things to clip. Who caught the flowers? Spoiler, it was Nick. <laughs> Technically, yes. <laughs> Technically, Nick caught the flowers. And yes, Artemis was also there too. Do we call them on... Do we call her as the flower doggo? Uh, I guess so. We didn't really have like anybody like walking down... No, the but we had... A... spreading flowers. But we had a ring bearer. Yeah. Yeah, but that's really it. Yeah, Nick, yeah, Nick attended the wedding. We had a couple yeah. of, we also obviously had a couple of people invited, especially the boys. We invited the boys. We of course, why couldn't we? Unfortunately, uh, only there are one a of them make it. Yeah, a lot of things were able to make it. Yeah, including yeah. including Lale. But 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 we did have special private uh stream for them. Right? Yes. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, everybody in in on stream that you weren't invited, but you know, we can't reveal our real faces. We've already revealed our real faces before. It's just more like a personal kind of thing. Yeah. But I think it's I think it's good to be you know transparent. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, um, we've had we spent time with family, and it was a nice time. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Don't worry, guys. Think of it this way. When we do, like, an anniversary session, we'll do, like, VR chat or some shit. And you guys oh, can be invited for sure. <laughs> yeah. That way, everybody can celebrate! Yahoo! I mean, realist- I mean, we're not- I mean, it's- it's- Astra's not wrong. We're certainly not shy that we have kind of revealed ourselves before. Yeah, but it's it's just it's, it's no secret. It's more or less like if you know, you know, but try to respect privacy kind of thing. That's it. But if you know, no big deal. We're not gonna blow up over it. But it's just yeah. out of you know out of mutual respect. But I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. And uh, maintaining <clears throat> kayfabe, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the perfect way to describe it. Just think of it as wrestling. <laughs> I sound there's a little so many, biased so with wrestling. VTuber, I mean, there's so many VTuber terms, and just like, trope terms in general that come from wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just so cool. The biggest anime announcement- Oh yeah, Ranma and a half anime reboot. My biggest excitement was Magic Knight Ray Earth. <laughs> I'm so excited. I wonder how they're gonna reboot Ranma. Well, you could ask the same question of how they reboot freaking Tokyo Mew Mew. And, and as well as Magic Knight Ray Earth. Sailor Moon was kind yeah. of understandable because they're trying to follow the manga, so they basically followed uh, Brotherhood. I was just thinking, like, so many, so many uh, old animes are, like, kind of problematic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, but... Like, Ranma was, like, kind of one of those, like, edgy series, wasn't it? I mean, it's a comedy, but... Like, Slightly, of, but not, like... It had a lot of uh, moments... Yeah. Where, uh, you know, sexual harassment jokes that might not go over translate so well, well yeah. Nowadays, yeah yeah there's a lot of things that don't translate well nowadays if, since we're talking about anime <laughs> we want to talk about what we were seeing earlier astra well should we finish talking about our wedding first yeah true well we transitioned so i wasn't sure where we were going with it no, I, so. well if we transition i'm not sure when we're going to transition back so I, fin I figured might as well just all right well i mean i talked about more of this so let's talk about let's let's hear your thoughts on the vacation oh <laughs> what what's up <laughs> uh yeah i mean it was it was a nice time off it was nice kind of to get away from work um uh but uh yeah it was so much work mm -hmm. um, it was worth it in the end i think it was it was nice it was nice to have like a party with everyone um mm -hmm. but uh yeah so much work oh yeah it was definitely a lot of work indeed Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Why are you saying that sarcastically? <laughs> I'm saying I'm no, I'm actually genuine about it. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, it, yeah. It was just uh, a lot of work. Um. And uh, I don't know if I would do it again, but. Uh, I mean, it's a one a once in a lifetime kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you really want to do like vow renewals, and even then, like, we could just invite you know, our friends or something like that. Yeah, that's true. So, but uh, hey, we, but the point is we did it. We finally did it. We can finally put that aside and we can just relax from our vacation. That totally yeah. makes sense, right? <laughs> yep. Am I in danger? No, Patrick, you're not in danger. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was so much work. I'm not sure I would. I don't know. I mean, if we do a vow renewal thing or some kind of extra celebration in the future, mm -hmm. um, would you would you want to have another big party like that? Mm. I mean, honestly, if we do, I would like to invite our friends. Oh yeah, for sure, we would invite our. That's friends. what. That's what. That's just me though. <laughs> I feel like the Christmas party we had, uh, like, what was it last year? Uh, two years like, ago, actually. Hmm. Like that was that was a lot of fun. That was like the right amount of preparation for. Chaos. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, the wedding was so much work, and it cost so much. Oh uh, yeah, it sure did cost a lot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just that. Like, it wasn't only that. It was more or less like, um, not. It's like Aster said. It's like the amount of money we had to spend. Okay. Can I, can I actually, can I actually, like, shoot my shot real quick? Absolutely. Can I shoot my shot? Okay, okay. So hear me out, guys. So hear me out. I spent two weeks before everyone arrived. I spent two weeks cleaning up, getting everything that people need, and made sure that everyone got the necessities and all the items they need that we don't have to do too much but focus on the wedding. A few, less than a day or two... Into the vacation when everyone was here, we went shopping at freaking places to get more stuff than what is <laughs> unnecessary. I was so freaking pissed that I had a plan to take my nephew to an ice cream place, but they bought ice cream, and I'm yeah. sit and I'm sitting here. Try to maintain my calm. But no! We had to get some stuff that now we had to spend a couple of weeks trying to eat out without wasting it! Oh yeah, that's right. You bought so much stuff that uh that you end up ended up not even using. <laughs> like we still have that ice cream in the freezer unopened. I don't know yeah, if you can see the stream right I don't know if you can see the stream right now, but this whole time I had these freaking eyes on. There's a reason Aura moved to California. Yeah. And, um, Astra... Not that I'm saying he didn't believe me, but it was kind of incredulous, to say the least. <laughs> like, I knew it was bad, but, like, it was hard to s imagine just how bad. Because, like, I don't have that kind of experience. My family... Welcome to my world, then. <laughs> I mean, my family is, you know, overbearing sometimes, but, uh, you know, uh, it's like comparing... I was trying to think of a funny comparison. <laughs> yeah, to try to think of a funny comparison with my life. <laughs> like, like comparing like a hill to a mountain. Oh my god. It was just, I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I had to shoot my shot. I was just like, it just, it just infuriated this doggo so much. Because, yeah, yeah. I, I basically got everything ready. And, um, yeah, I didn't end up using a lot of stuff. And we got a lot of stuff in the end. They bought us so many strawberries. I don't understand why. <laughs> yeah, I was actually scared of that. I mean, okay, in the benefit of the doubt, in the benefit of the doubt, I mean, it was pretty much most people's first time in California. So it's going to be a little excitement going on. So yeah. I get that, but yeah, it was a lot of strawberries. <laughs> but I mean, like, most of the strawberries was literally, like, it was, what was it? It was, we went shopping somewhere, uh, I know exactly the... where we shopped. 
Yeah, but like, yeah, like there was that guy that like, he was just selling strawberries. It and, wasn't like, even a shop. It was a freaking person. No, it was a guy person. with a car. Yeah, it was a guy with a car. <laughs> yeah, selling strawberries and your brother just bought an entire crate of them. <laughs> Not just like, you know, one little basket of strawberries. An entire crate of strawberries. Good to be prepared. Blend the fruit make smoothies? That's what we've been doing. We've had so many strawberry smoothies. Stop right there. Stop. Stop right there. Stop right there. Okay. Listen. Okay. Okay. JBN. <laughs> you know I. You know I love you. I love everyone in the. I love everyone in the Illuminate community. I'm. I. I want you guys to listen very carefully. <laughs> I was prepared for like three weeks. <laughs> three. Two to three weeks, and I was trying to be good accommodating <laughs> and i was really really hoping we wouldn't spend so much money and yet we did and what happened to us in the end now we are suffering with not only a lot of stuff that we don't even have hell we have heckin coffee and regular oh, yeah. milk no let me finish we have coffee that neither of us drink and we have and we also have an unopened cookies and cream now granted moon red did make a raise a good point but i don't remember the last time we had soda but the point is oh, yeah. the point is right here is that the bottom line is to actually listen to aura Yes, listen to Aura. That's right, we bought like literally- All right, turn this music back on. We, we bought like 120 cans of soda for the wedding. Um, uh, and we had to take home most of it. Yeah, we sure did. <laughs> we sure did. Yeah, <laughs> we so, sure uh, did. I, we gave most of that soda to my, to my brother. Because um, yeah, we, we don't drink a lot of soda lately. We don't drink soda basically anymore. Starcross needs a lunch chocolate emote. Funny you mentioned that actually. <laughs> Funny. Oh yeah, you have one now, don't you? <laughs> well, not yet. Oh, is that not? I guess it's just slippers. Well, it's just the sandal. E it's just a sandal emote. <laughs> oh, I see. We don't even have those size of emotes. I was I was saying your mom bought you a. a oh yeah 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 life. yeah 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 she did <laughs> yeah she did. <laughs> oh so now Aura my god. Has the chunkless. Yeah, I actually do have chunkless now. That's it, Astra. That's it, Astra. Yes. Say goodbye to this face. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, that was just like partial of the weekend. Oh, 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 and it gets better, and it gets better, <clears throat> and it gets better. So, we never really talk to our neighbors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, this was the rare time, and thank God oh, your that- Oh, still on. Oh, it is still on? That's okay, this. that's how- Okay, yeah, I- I- you know what? Heck it, I'm sticking with God mode. <laughs> Okay, fine, I'll turn it off for now. Okay, you know what gets better. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying, the thank you so much for, thank, in all seriousness, thank you for letting me know. Um, so, we don't talk to our neighbors much. So we had to ask to accommodate for our family. And they did. They did. And they all came. Everything was good. But then they had to go to a freaking hotel because they didn't know about the high allergies with Artemis. <laughs> they knew about Artemis, though. They just didn't put two and two together that, you know, there would be somebody that was allergic to dogs. I took a picture and videos to my mama doggo and she told them too. <laughs> so basically, we had an empty spot for a few days. 
For nothing. <laughs> you can prepare as much as you want, but you can't prepare against stupid. <sighs> so yeah, I think it was an understatement of how pissed off I was for a good chunk of the time. <laughs> yeah, you're... Uh... And Astro was watching this the whole time. Me, like, trying to be nice, trying to be chill, and I'm just, like, internally screaming inside. Yeah. Un yeah, underappreciative is, uh, you know, one word to, to describe. Underappreciative is an understatement of the year. Uh, Mama Borealis, yeah. we tried so hard. <laughs> we did. I mean, you know, luckily it's, you know, they only visit once every, once in a while and not like... I mean, don't get me wrong, though. Don't get me wrong, though. Like, I I love my family with all my heart. I really do. I really, really do. And I highly respect that. And I appreciate them coming over. But holy shit. I wish they... I kind of wish they, you know, just trusted me a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little just bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit! No plan survives first contact with the enemy. And the enemy is human stupidity. <laughs> So yeah, um, yeah, yeah the, whole, the hilarious thing was like, whenever Astro and I have some time to ourselves, Astro is just like, yeah, I think I understand why. I think I understand yeah. the pain you've been through. And I'm, and I'm sitting here going, you think? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Yeah, it felt like a... Okay, so if you imagine, like, any Drake and Josh situation where Josh... You, you, okay, if some of you have watched Drake and Josh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you know that one episode where Josh starts going out with Mindy, which, is, which was his rival, and then he was trying to, you know, he was trying to present himself well to his parents by inviting him to his house for dinner? Yeah, and then thing, and then shit goes, and then shit hits the fan. Yeah, that was me. Right Except there. It wasn't. It wasn't very comedic. No, it was not. It was just hard. Yep. Are you the oldest, middle, or youngest child? Believe it or not, I'm the youngest. So before anyone says anything, yes, I know the logic of the families think. And just because I'm the youngest, I don't know any better. Oh, you need to understand. Do you understand that this is important? This is your thing. You have an experience. We have much more experience. We've done this for several months or several years or whatever days we have our time that we have to spend. Yeah, Astro's face right now is fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you know... It's done and over. All the right. wedding was nice, at least. The youngest... Okay, any youngest people in the family, you all know what I'm talking about. You've been there, done that. I'm sorry, Astro. Go right ahead. No, I was just... I, was I just shot, I shot that. my shot. Yeah, I was just going to say, the wedding itself was, was pretty nice. Oh, yeah. The, the wedding was fantastic, dude. Okay, like, so... <laughs> what was the funny part? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, why don't you tell about your, your day when, you know, your day of, like... Give us your, like, ex give us, like, your POV of the day of. Okay, sure. So Before I, mean, I talk about so myself. We, so we were preparing all day, uh, <clears throat> and even on the day of, we were still preparing up until the very last minute, and even past the last minute, because we started the ceremony a little late. So, uh, like, so <laughs> we hired a photographer for three hours, but we only got him for one and a half hours, um, because... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we uh, uh, we started late. Um, but yeah, I, I was literally, I got up in the morning and, and walked out in this, and then I went to the venue to help and just was doing stuff all day. Uh, and yeah, and like Nick came and helped. Uh, the photographer fucking helped with setting up because, uh, and it was just me and my family helping, not Aura's family. Yeah. Not nothing against your family or anything, but uh, um, yeah, like you know, they had their reason. I'll talk about that momentarily, but go ahead and continue uh, your little story. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it was—it's literally just that I, uh, you 
you know, at the last hour, I uh, I went home and showered and and got my tux, um, and uh, and yeah, we went through the ceremony, um, and uh, basically nothing went wrong. We had a very good director, fortunately. Oh yeah, we did. All right, was that all you have? Yeah, that was basically our whole day. Okay. Before, we had to strike afterwards as well, but. Um, mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, so here's my perspective of the. Here's my perspective of the day. Okay, so I don't want to go too much into details because I don't want it to be like a like a he said she said kind of thing. But um, yeah, there was like, I'm just gonna say safely say there was just some miscommunication going on. That's all I'm gonna say. But for most of my day, um. So what happened was, was that I was, okay, hold on. I don't know what's going on with my, I don't know what's going on with my thing. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, so my day was like, just trying to relax as much as possible. Astra left to help out with setup. And he had a bad feeling with me. And that was the funny part. So yeah, I was trying, I was trying to relax my day, but then I get nagged. And then I had to do things, and then I had to, like, listen to a lot of things even after rehearsal stuff. Even, like, the day like the day before I did rehearsal stuff and everything. Oh, uh, that's right. That was another thing that uh, yeah. went yeah. not great. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, they, um, yeah, it was just pretty much kind of stressful like bring everything bring this and that and there are some things that weren't even necessary to bring in my opinion but that's not the point so i went so i had to so i was actually stressed out to the point where i ended up going out almost an hour early before my makeup appointment which was at sephora so i went out went to i just stuck around i just chilled near i just chilled um at a mall that's close by to my appointment so I was just like, all right, I'll just chill for a bit. And then I went to my appointment. But here is the problem. Um, so I got locked out of my freaking phone a few times because I was so stressed out to the point where I forgot my code. So I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even QR code scan because I, for some reason, forgot due to so much stress. But luckily, Sephora was nice enough to um, give like a like a paper version and just sign kind of thing, which that was the one thing that was the one saving grace that I had in mind. But yeah, I did the makeup and then I ended up going and then I'm arriving um, half hour earlier than I was expected to arrive, like trying to be secret. So I came out of my car and I tried to go Metal Gear stealth worthy moment. It was like a stealth mini game. Managed to get in without anyone seeing me and hid on the freaking bridal room so yeah just think of me as freaking solid snake <laughs> with everything and so i was chilling and i was just chilling in the place since then and i kept asking give me the freaking card that has the code because I had the music in there, so I had to make sure everyone was work everything was working properly, and I was able to get in again because after all that. And I felt so ashamed that I forgot about it because of all the stress. But yeah, after that, I was just chilling in there for hours. And uh yeah, there were a couple of people, certain names too, that came around on time and was able to help out with that. Um but then as I was setting up everything, I have like all my dress ready, my flowers ready. I was just waiting and wondering what was going on. Why is this late? <laughs> but yeah, the ceremony, that was my day. The ceremony came out well, um, all things considered. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, as far as that goes, it was just miscommunication going on. But the, 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 the harsh, the like frustrating part was that from my side of the family, it was just like, it's uh, it just they came off as saying like, uh, we know what we were do like, we know what we were doing kind of mindset, like we understand we've done this several times, but it was just like, 
a lot of complications. Even I, I, I was in the bridal, sh I was in the bridal room. I keep hearing all these complications going on, and I'm sitting here like I thought we conversed this, but then I realized Astra was telling me <laughs> it was my sister just trying to overcomplicate things a little, and I'm just like, this is gonna be, this is gonna end well. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what happened uh, otherwise, because I was completely not involved in any of that otherwise. I was just involved with my thing. So yeah. I was practically, I was practically barred from helping out or doing anything because I was the bride. And I understand that, but it's just like, I don't know. I guess I'm the type of person that's, I'm like a productive type of person and if things don't get done or I feel bad if um if getting married no one helps out oh. family watching and helping can take a lot out of oh. you Three yeah weeks of planning really. basically and you need energy to get through it yeah what better way than with advanced G use star crossed and to say I should have seen that coming way of a wedding gift <laughs> I should have seen that coming <laughs> thank you though Red. I appreciate that you're up <laughs> You can look at the thing if you want. That's <laughs> true. Oh, I see it. I actually appreciate that you're up, Moon Red. But yeah, it was just frustrating. <laughs> yeah, like the moment itself was nice, but boy, the lead up to it, uh, barely worth it. Yeah, like, like, Astra and I attended the rehearsal, and Astra's yeah. family was able to come. Yep. But the problem was, is because, like, with my family, they felt like they wasted their time coming in the morning and they thought that we were all going to spend all day before trying to set up. Which, I mean, they were trying to, but they had to, my family was still, like, getting stuff ready. Yeah, but I think there was, that's where the miscommunication came in and that's what they got upset. So that's why it was kind of like a petty thing where it's just like, they're too tired. They like they're done for the day. They're not going back there. Kind <laughs> they of barely thing. did anything. So, and it was just like, it was so it was it was kind of like annoying because they were going to eat. Uh, they ate uh, lunch at like some grill place nearby. Oh yeah. And we were just like chilling for a bit. We were just we were Astro and I were just thinking, hey, what do you want to have for lunch? I don't want to have. To, it's gonna it's too it's probably too pricey over there. So. We just went for a subway. Yep. And uh, his folks arrived after that. So I had a call from my folks. And then I had a call from his folks. And I'm trying to just play communication back and forth. And I'm just like, why can't you just call them? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it, was it, was it, it was definitely a communication issue. To say the least. I don't know about Astra thinks of it. No, it was it was way harder than it should have been. Yeah. I think if this I think if it was like properly communicated a little bit more because I thought we everyone was on the same page. But I guess for some reason there was something that was lost in the shuffle. I don't know what, but you know what? Whatever, like you said, it's all done and done. No need to no need to fuss over the past anymore, you know? Yeah. Uh, did you have Sefei or Papa, or did Papa Sefei walk you? Um, so, so Papa Sefei already passed away years ago. But the wholesome part about that, actually, is that we had a picture of Papa Sefei. And, or Papa Doggo. You can say Papa Doggo. I prefer that, anyway. But anyway, my point is, is that we had a picture of him. And basically, Mama Doggo walked with the picture. So it seemed like, and my brother, too. So it seemed like him, Mama, and Papa Doggo were walking me down the aisle side by side. So it was kind of wholesome. I even like danced with the picture of Papa Doggo. So yeah. was, I admit that one was a wholesome moment, and I really did appreciate that. Yeah, like the wedding itself was nice. The ceremony itself was nice. Yeah. The reception was, was nice. You know, everybody mm -hmm. enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. We definitely ordered way too much food. 
I mean, better. I, I want to say, to yeah, I want to say that, but I kind of wish that people took some food. I mean, they yeah. did, but yeah. More food. I know. I mean, I was fine with the pizza. Everybody knows me by now. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, that was as far as that goes. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, so much negative stuff, and we barely remembered the positives because uh, we yeah, were there, so exhausted. <laughs> yeah, that was not much. We were just so exhausted. It could have been worse, or you could have been swapped to a changeling, and things would have gone to say, dude. I'd rather be, I'd rather have a changeling situation than what just happened. <laughs> at least, at least, I would have been more forgiving on that. <laughs> Hell, I would have. Hell, I would have sang this day, Araya. I would have sang that song, and I and I would hope that Astra. I would hope that Astra knows who's the real Aura, right? Of course, of course. <laughs> oh my God! But you know the funny part about that. Mm -hmm. You want to know the funny part about that comment? What? On the music playlist, we actually have "Love Is in Bloom" there. Oh yeah. We actually did have Love is in Bloom. Dude, I'm so I was so proud of myself for arranging all that playlist that music playlist. You I did tried, a great job with it. Yeah, because I was arranging from like the the not the 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 background ceremony kind of thing. Uh the walk down the aisle ceremony, which was a cello piano version of a whole new world, by the way. Um and then I came up with a dance playlist, which was definitely enough to last the whole wedding. Which I'm pretty proud of. I had, I had uh, nostalgia songs. I had pretty fun songs, ballad sad, uh, like not sad. I don't know why I said sad. Uh, softer songs. Um, I had salsa songs, and I even had Vietnamese songs. Yeah, we we got something for everyone. Yeah, I, when a Vietnamese song came on, everyone everyone in Astro's family was so surprised. <laughs> Yeah. And I was just like grinning. <laughs> and it was kind of funny, yet very endearing at the same time. Yeah. And everybody was so nice. They, every, everyone, because um, everyone there recognized it. I was just like, yes, I did something right. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I love how it was so funny when your brother slowly turned to me with that school, that, with the fry squint. When Suisse song played. Oh. Uh, you know that song. Everybody knows what song I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, we got some weep music in there too, for good measure. Oh yeah, because it's our wedding, why not? Of course. Um, But yeah, it was definitely a lot of songs for that. Yeah, it actually was like a feels good moment. Um... And it was so good because um, it was uh, Anuvia's family that helped out with the catering. Yeah, they were so nice. Everyone was, yeah, everyone was so sweet. Everyone was so nice. And they were all literally just like, please feel free to visit us again. You are more than welcome. Like, and we, we appreciate we appreciate you so much. And I was just like, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, it was it was so the whole ceremony itself was so endearing. Because I had a lot of, we had a lot of people that we knew that helped us out with a lot of things. It was Nubia that helped out with catering. And it was CL that helped me out too with, uh, with some oh, yeah, other with things. Your, with your, your hair. And yeah! CL was, uh, yeah, CL was a big help. Yeah, um, CL was there too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did think about that one actually. <laughs> <laughs> so okay you guys want to know the funny story i might as well i can say it now um because i wanted to save that moment because i know it was mentioned in the discord but i wanted to save it for this moment so <laughs> so we had a registry uh wedding registry so there was a couple oh, of gifts yeah. and um other things that was essential to say the least um but um let's see how see how told me that rio got us a gift and I was literally saying, I swear to God, it better not be another Gunpla. 
She came back to me later and said, so Rio got you a gunpla? And I was just like, and I was just like, smile. Smile. <laughs> smile. <laughs> I was just like, I was just trying to find the words to say whether I was just like gonna scream or have one of the have, have a feeling of I'm not mad but I'm disappointed <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad but I'm disappointed <laughs> yeah that does yeah that was the tweet too yeah. yeah we should do that on stream sometime wait maybe we should collab with CL while doing that oh god I should more or less collab. No, it's more or less collab with Rio. Rio and I have talked before about like uh, doing couples together. I mean, so... that would be fun too. Yeah. Yeah, there was that moment, but yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. I'll think about that in the near future. But yeah, we had a gumpla. <laughs> so that's so I have two more gumplas on the freaking list. But I will admit, the the one he gave us, which was a Hello Kitty Gundam, was really cute. Yeah. I think it was one of the rare ones too, actually. I don't rem I don't remember, but yeah, I haven't seen that often personally. But I don't know. I I may not know that much, but yeah. So yeah, that was uh, one of the gifts. It was certainly nice, like the one he did give us. I didn't expect Rio to give a gift, but I'm not surprised it was a freaking gumpla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just like, yeah, I just felt like Rio was in the wedding with the freaking gumpla. <laughs> but yeah, that was a that was a that was a hilarious time. Oh, and we had a board game, too. Yeah, it's, a, it's one of those party board games. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, I felt like there was another gift. I don't remember what, but... Yeah. I don't remember. But uh, anyway, um, we had the... The party favors was actually really nice, too. Yeah, our, my sister made us the party favors, and, and she put a lot of work into them. She really did. It's, it's hugely appreciated. Um, it was like a really nice sachet bag of like, uh, like the moon stars, kind of like that. And, um, what was in there was just like, uh, homemade of the, was it the jello or was it gelatin? I think, or was it like, it was like some form of can homemade candy. Yeah. Yeah. So it was that, um, it was like blue and some white and it has some like, uh, uh, gold foil. Uh, eating foil wrap, I think. One of those women, one of those things. Yeah, the gold foil. Yeah, it was like a gold uh, foil that you can uh, eat, and um, it was like a nice bubbles. And we also had fans too, because obviously it's really hot. <laughs> and uh, she decorated those too. Yeah, and it was just really cool. Like I like those, and not a lot of people seem to have nice use for them. Uh, yeah, it was really cool. Mm hmm. So it was nice for that matter. Um, I'm just trying to find like a proper thing. I'm trying to get a good shot of it. I guess. Do you feel comfortable sharing the table pick, Astra? Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so I'll show you guys the thing. Uh, let me make sure I have it there. And let me make sure I actually have it. It's going to be a little big, so heads up. There we go. So this is what it looked like right here. Let me see if I could actually, like, uh, put it here for a moment. Let me crop it, because for some reason, it's always, like, the freaking, um, it's always, like, the freaking black line of things, but, yeah, I'll fix that in a moment. But this is what it, this is what our table looked like. Let me just see if I can get that here. But, yeah, our theme was, like, royal blue, and that's good enough, actually. Uh, there we go. Now I can actually properly look at it. I don't know, I look a little bit like that. I set that up. Anyway, this is what it looks like right here. So, um, I don't have my little, uh, my little, little thingy where I get the point. But the point is, is that, um, this is the little party favors here. That what it looks like. And that's the table. That's everything here. I'm going to sew this up closer. So this is what it would look like. So this is the party favor right there. It had like a tag and a key um, and like a really nice box wrapped up. Everything was nice and it was nice, nice and uh, set up. Yeah. Glass are plastic. 
Um, for those, those uh, uh, champagne wine, glasses are glass. Yeah, the, yeah, the champagne flute and the wine glasses yeah. were actual glass. Yeah, they're actual um, glass. Thank God none of them break. Yeah, most most of the stuff was actually just disposable plastic, but like oh, yeah. really fancy one. Oh yeah, they were, and there weren't that much either. No, yeah, which was great. <laughs> oh yeah, and um, here a lot of these you see like the flower arrangements, like one of them. There's a lot. There was a ton of them. Um, there was a ton of arrangements done by both sides of our family. Yeah, like, and a lot of them were silk flowers too. The only yeah. thing that was real is the. The boutonniere, the corsage, and my bouquet. Well, most of my bouquet. But yeah, those were the only real flowers that we that was used. And that everything else was silk. Which was really yeah. nice and it turned out well. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah. But yeah, everything was like really, really nice for that part. And then I think I was trying to look for Oh, I have the picture of the arch. It was it's just by itself too. The art was like oh, yeah. definitely my favorite. Yeah, that that uh, like a good couple hours went into decorating that. Yeah, I was just wondering about. I was just so not. It was just really nicely arranged here. I'll show that too. This is the arch right here. I I need to fix that real quick. I'm so That's sorry. Do it under. Mhm. Mm All right. Let me actually try to uh, fix that real quick. Yeah, close enough. This is the arch right here. Sorry about my random, uh, sorry about my random things. I'm just trying my best to, uh, get everything settled. But yeah, I know sunflowers are actually, uh, uh, one of my top favorite flowers. Yeah. So the fact that they were able to incorporate that really meant a lot to me. They didn't have to, but it meant a lot that they were able to do it. Yeah, it was really nice. So Nick got the flowers and the car, like, like garter through. We didn't have a, leg like, garter. Uh, yeah, we did it. Yeah, no glad garter. But they don't need to, you know, but y'all didn't need to know about that. Astro and I have already fucked. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'm not ashamed to say it. So, I mean, we're married. Hello. You're going to have yeah. those kinds of conversations. Aura is technically not a virgin. Neither is Astra. Nope. <laughs> Was my favorite flower? Uh, probably the star jasmine. Yeah, star jasmine are really nice. But yeah, I like sunflowers because they help a lot. And they know how to... I, to me, it just feels warm and welcoming. They know how to... They cheered me up a lot of the times. And um, also, they help a lot when it comes to radiation. <laughs> Is that true? I heard about that story before. You know, the... I think it was the Fukushima? I don't remember. No, I don't think it was Fukushima. It was like the nuclear uh, history kind of thing back oh. when there was like the thing um so apparently near the plants in order to absorb radiation they used they plant sunflowers nearby okay yeah i've heard of that as well yeah um. i thought it was like whether it was like whether it was like actually true or not like i thought it was i thought personally i thought it was true but i also thought it was like even if whether it is or not i thought it was like really cool that sunflowers are basically nice little uh they basically protect us kind of thing. Yeah. I thought it was really cool. And that's what made me really appreciate sunflowers. They're definitely really nice. We need to go pick up those sunflowers, by the way. We still have them. We I will. Like we will. Of. We will. Yeah, we, yeah, the, yeah, the arrangements are ours technically, so we could take them home and decorate. <laughs> yeah, we put them at our house. Yeah, exactly. It's really nice. Oh, yeah, we have the sign too. It says, welcome to the wedding. Yeah, we can't show that too, though, because it has our real names on it. What are you talking about? Our real names are Aura and Astra. Oh, of course. <laughs> but he's right. We're not showing that either. Oh, my God. <laughs> but other than that, there were definitely some ups and downs. But um, yeah, other than lot, that, all things yeah, considered, all things considered, it's uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good for the most part. Yeah. So you just confirmed that you're not virgin. <sighs> okay, that was information we needed to know. <laughs> Breaking news! Totally not virgins! Totally. 
No, but yeah, all things aside, like, it was still a nice time. It really was. We don't know. Yeah, we actually know them. We actually know them. They're pretty chill people. You should, yes. meet, you should meet them sometime if you ever oh, get a chance to visit the con. Just saying. <laughs> yes, they are representatives. Oh, yeah, they're representatives. I guess, what do you call these? What do you call them nowadays? Like, Mane-chans? <laughs> That's <laughs> Mane san Mane san By the way, <laughs> they don't manage us, though. By the way, Mane san, can I have some water, please? Thank you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. I think people call them flesh tubers, which is such a. Oh, weird yeah, that was another term. thing. <laughs> hmm. Uh, but can, yeah, can I, I be called? Can... can I be called Latina tuber? Thank you. <laughs> I'll be the Latina tuber. Wepa. <laughs> you can join Iron Mouse. I am a Puerto Rican. Isn't she as well? Yeah, she is. And you and you know who else is Puerto Rican? La La Chan. I think it was her name. La La Vtuber. Um, those of you who don't know, she is like, uh, she has a really cute design of like the 1980s waitress. And it looked really cute. Um, same 3D. I think it was the same. Yeah, same 3D model mama as Renton, Rainy Renton. Oh, nice. Yeah, I watched her, and her content is really fun to watch. Definitely would recommend if you ever needed like a good laugh or two, especially if you enjoy Iron Mouse. Iron Mouse also noticed her too. Nice. Do 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 do. Oh, okay, you're familiar. Okay, so you know who I'm talking about. 80s, 50s, yeah. That was that was it. But at least you know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. If you know, you know. But yeah, anyway. Um, definitely check her out. Lala is great. <clears throat> if you like Lala, uh, if you like Lala's content, if you like Iron Master's content. My chair broke. Oh no. Was it was it too much cold chair movement? No, I'm kidding. I hope you get a I hope you get a new chair soon. I'm sorry. Every time I every time I see like stuff like that, I just have to like, hey yo, okay. But what the what's the culture great? <laughs> Which is kind of funny. <laughs> Can I say it, Astra? Yeah, go for it. Can I say it? Yeah. <laughs> there was a time when we, were, when we had when it was when it was when it was like culture time. We <laughs> kind of broke the bed for a moment. Oh yeah, that was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, it kind of made me think back at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was kind of like, yeah, <laughs> it was pretty spicy, but at the same time, yeah, <laughs> we kind of hardcore. Just saying, I just lean, but no, I also get where you're coming from. But I actually had one of my old chairs break once too. Um, and this was back when I used to raid Final Fantasy fourteen stuff. And um, there was the one time when I was raiding, my chair just eventually broke. And it wasn't like, it wasn't just the base of wheels. It was like, it was like snapped in half. And I showed my raid mates the picture of the chair. I'm like, hey guys, this is what I've been raiding this whole time. <laughs> and then when one of my one of my I think it was like one of my caster friends came back the first thing he said was like Aura God I get you I God I didn't know you were that pissed and I'm like bro I was totally pissed this game it was it was crazy times it was so yeah. it was so funny but it was also kind of like pain like pain peco because now I had to get a chair new chair. How the fuck did it snap and have? Uh... So, Astro, why don't you talk about yourself? <laughs> what is there to talk about? Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, most of the most of the week we were just uh, we were we were just working on that. We barely had any like relaxation time. Yeah, we barely had any relaxation. Oh yeah, at the end of that, I got sick. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Luckily, that was. I'm recover. I'm now recovering. By the way, I'm like ninety percent better. By the way. Yeah, yeah. Probably didn't help that uh, 
yeah, when your uh, when your niece came over, it nephew, was just, a nephew, yeah, um, that he was just copying on everything. Yeah, it was like a thing. Is it Rica me Puerto Rican? Um, I don't think so. I thought he was Filipino, but if he was Puerto Rican, that's good to know. I have seen uh, I have seen a couple of Rica me's uh, content before. But I don't know. That'd be cool if he is. I thought he was like Filipino. But yeah, it'd be cool. That'd be something I, but hey, I haven't watched too much of his content. So if it is true, hey, I learned something new tonight. You know, yeah. that's cool. Got to have more. We got to have more uh, Puerto Rican represent reps. Oh, show. So, so yeah. Um, but other than that, like I said, that was pretty much our thing. Yep, that was our week. Mm -hmm. We gotta, we gotta get more, uh, <laughs> gotta have more vacation time. We gotta have an actual vacation. Yeah, like a real, real vacation. Yeah, the 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 two vacations we've taken so far have both been to like work. Cause like the last time we took a really long vacation was when we were doing the concert. Uh, oh yeah, I think. it was like, <laughs> it was like, hey, let's take a vacation vacation from our work to do our work <laughs> as a, our, our, hobby. our hobby work and then we'll take an actual vacation sometime and that never happened yeah there's no time for vacations as a content creator nope not especially even... as a content creator that doesn't make any money no basically not basically not at all so yeah um I feel like we've been bitching a lot. We yeah. should talk about something positive. We've been, yeah, we have been bitching a lot. But you know what? It's part of our. It was part of our vacation. <laughs> and we, and like I said, I, I'm not ashamed. I shot. I was. I was. I did say I was gonna shoot my shot, and I did. And I was like, you know what? Let's chat about it. Let's just, you know, talk about our stuff. But other than that, we saw cute pictures, and yeah, I'm not ashamed. And, uh, yeah, there's just some things, like, some people can relate, can talk about it. Like, apparently how I learned a couple of people are relatable over the fact that their chairs were broken. And now I don't feel bad anymore. <laughs> I do not feel bad anymore. Good. Um, so, so, yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was, like, pretty funny, by the way. But, yeah, um, that was pretty much it for the most part. I, um... Oh yeah, we saw In and Out. We we did go through oh, In and Out after a long yeah. time. Man, okay, I just want to say like, okay, I admit I was also one of the people that um was kept hearing so many great things, amazing, and all the praise about In and Out. Like everybody was just like, oh, you have to try this, you have to do that. And then Astro was just like, oh, it's overrated. So when I tried it, and I was just like. Wow, you're right. It really is overrated. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> okay, I have to do. Oh, just do this. <clears throat> My chair is not broken. Sorry, I have to. Re I can't resist with that <laughs> emoji. <laughs> anyway, what's up, Nara? I don't know if you. I don't know if you've been lurking this whole time or not. Um, but yeah, it was been. It's been a party of adventures. Oh look, this Astra Dorora. Get her. Oh, hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Um, yeah. Uh, or there was, you meant, when, at near the beginning of the podcast, you brought up a uh, anime or something that you wanted to talk about? What have oh, we, what yeah. Have, what have we been watching lately? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what have we been watching? My brain is, like, so... My brain is, like, a million miles away. <laughs> um... So, the anime we recently watched, I feel like there was so much. I don't even remember, to be honest. Oh, no, no, yeah, we did. There was that VTuber anime that we watched. Oh, that's right. I was just trying to think. I'm like, I, 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 I'm like, I feel like we watched something recently. I didn't know what. And then that hit yeah. me. VTuber legend. Yeah, VTuber legend. How I became popular by forgetting to turn off my stream or whatever it's called. Yeah. But yeah, um... If you guys like YouTubing, go check it out. It's actually really, really good. It's surprising, like how much, like how faithful it was. Like whoever wrote that series was like is clearly in the VTuber space. Like, 
They got all the conventions mm. right. Yeah, they really did. And it was just so funny. And it was just, like, genuinely funny. It's not forced. It's very, like, relatable. And yeah. it's just enjoyable, to say the least. But yeah, I mean, but yeah, you are right. I'm definitely looking forward to... I want to see more of the... I want to see the second episode, for sure. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was, was kind of it's really good. Kind of, yeah. I was kind of expecting, out of that anime, kind of expecting more of, like, a slice of life thing. Which, it does look like it's going to be a slice of life thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. But it's really interesting that they chose to make the real life person and the VTuber avatar the same thing rather than like two different mm -hmm. things. Yeah, but I guess it adds up to the quirk, I guess. I don't know, but I guess we'll see yeah, more. It's, it's just the yeah, first it's episode. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see like how this story plays out and how yeah. they kind of depict it. Oh yeah, for sure. The rig was so stick, it's like taking place in 2015. I think it was written in 2015. Yeah, I think so too. Somebody somebody I saw on the Hololive Reddit, somebody brought up uh, a clip, an old clip. Oh, of, yeah! Uh, Marie, Marine. Marine, yeah, uh, with her. From, uh, from Hall Live, actually collabed with her. Yeah! Way back, way back when the light novel was first written and they were doing that to promote the light novel. It was so crazy! Hall Live's been in this for a long time. They really have. It's so insane. But yeah, I. Um, yeah, yeah, you guys haven't seen that yet. Um, definitely, definitely give it a watch yeah give it Maybe a watch your next sure. watch along once that once that season finishes oh yeah for sure unless we get really impatient it's like you know what heck let's just watch it <laughs> i mean we can watch it together the two of us because we already watched the first episode yeah so. that's true i think the second um, episode's already out yeah and i know astra's almost half about halfway done with season two of konosuba we need to watch season three yeah um but yeah, what do you think of Konosuba? It's fun. It's a really great take on the isekai genre. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, the benefit clip. Yeah, I saw that clip too. It was it was pretty it was pretty uh it was pretty much pure chaos actually. Pure chaos in a way. And um it's just it's just really fun. There's just not a lot of anime these days that are don't show these kind of charming fun experiences like all these like uh relatable storytelling and yeah. the vtuber one was definitely one that i personally haven't seen in a long time we should watch more slice of life together <clears throat> i feel like if we were looking for relatable that might be <clears throat> kind of thing we could watch some romance oh i know a romance anime then mm -hmm. i know a romance that i know a good one and i'm not talking about your lie in april <laughs> um <laughs> I, there's an anime called Say I Love You, mm. and it's about an introvert that um, that just prefers to be to herself. It's like a high school slice of life kind of thing, and there's this like popular guy that was very sweet and very charismatic and also very humble, and he had a crush on the quiet girl despite a lot of other people having a crush on him. Because to him, like, she stood out to him the most. And uh, it was just kind of cute. And they developed a relationship kind of thing. And okay. it was just a nice little life lesson kind of th uh, thing. But I would definitely recommend Say I Love You. It's uh, really cute. Even the manga is pretty good, too. Um, yeah, that sounds good. <clears throat> I think you would appreciate that. And it's pretty relatable to kind of us, actually. Mm. Astro has gone to the part where famous Aqua meme. Oh yeah, he got past that one. Yeah, that was like in season like one or two, right? Yeah, around like uh beginning, uh yeah around season one, and then no. It's... Yeah, we're already on like season three, I believe, right? No, 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 we're still at season two. We're about halfway to season two. Um, but yeah, it was uh pretty fun. He even saw like the darkness episode. <laughs> oh yeah. The one where she has to be forced to marry someone or something like that. Yeah. That was one of my favorite episodes. It was just too great. <laughs> um, and, uh, but yeah, in terms of anime, we were watching a video analysis earlier, actually. Well, I saw it last, I saw most of it last night, and it was just like, huh, interesting. And, um, yeah, there's just it made me realize that there's just so many anime that really does go all out in types of like 
uh, specific cultures. And something that's like, ya bye. I mm. learned about the Seven Deadly Sins anime. I kept hearing about the name. And I kept seeing, like, you know, some people, like, watching it. And when I listened to the whole concept, I was just like, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. So, uh, so I started to Astra, like but, uh, it, yeah. It certainly seemed like a problematic yeah. Anime. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that that's all I'll say for the matter. Um, but other than that, I don't remember what other uh, there's so much anime that I wanted to watch these days. And uh I know we watched a few uh, we just randomly watched a few episodes of Magic Knight Rare. And, oh yeah, because uh, it was just on TV. RTV. It looks really cool. It is really cool. Like it's a it's a fun it's a fun show. I think you yeah, would enjoy like a it. Cool fantasy. I think I would enjoy it. Yeah, clamp, uh, clamp art, uh, fantasy world. Can't go How wrong. How could it get any better? Yeah, it's a, yeah. They're really good designs too. And uh, yeah, and that's where Mokona originated. Not in Subasa, Magic Knight Rare Earth. <laughs> I never actually knew that. That's cool. <laughs> yep, he originated from that show. He did not originate from Subasa. And also, and also, keep in mind, Tsubasa is practically Clamp, Marvel yeah, Clamp, just... Marvel version, Clamp version of the Marvel movies. Yeah, yeah, it's the Clamp <laughs> cinematic universe. Yep. Which is which was pretty cool. Tsubasa was kind of a, within my high school days. No, not my high school, middle school days. I remember that. It was so funny because I remember like. I was first introduced to Subasa after I was reading the Gundam Sea manga, and that was when it was advertising Subasa, Sakura, and Shaoran. And I'm like, oh shoot, I'm excited for that. So when I finally got the manga, I was just like, yay! The better days, yeah. My, what was your first manga that you read, actually? Uh, I think it was Chobit. Ooh, That's good the choice. the first one I can remember. Good choice. My first manga, believe it or not, was uh, Kotomo no Omocha. Or Kota, mm. Kotacha Sana Stage. Um, and it was a slice of life manga about, um, I think it was close to, it was between, it was in between like elementary middle school ish kind of thing, almost middle school actually. And it was just a slice of life where like it was just like a child star and mm. there was a bully that she hated and they eventually like developed feelings for each other relationship kind of thing like they learn about each other that sounds like a cute like romance <clears throat> slice of life mm -hmm. you talking about the new magic ray art um i was talking about how ash and i recently saw on our tv magic and Rear. but yeah i did talk about the remake earlier i was just telling him that he's never astro's never watched it so i was just telling him that he would enjoy it because the designs were great of course you can't go wrong with clamp the fantasy universe um, music's pretty banging. And they're very memorable characters indeed. And I was just also saying how Mokona is originated from Bear and not Tsubasa. <clears throat> so yeah, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, I remember it was, um, it was Kodomo no Omocha, and I think Chobits was after? Yeah, I think Chobits was right after. And then I got into... Okay, so it was Kodacha, Chobits, and I think after that was Pita Ten. Pita Ten was another series, manga series oh, that yeah. I really liked. So I started with the manga first. I really enjoyed Pita Ten because it was really not only really cute, but I thought the story was interesting. About like an angel that goes into, goes into Earth, tries to find a lover that um that she that apparently reincarnated as her neighbor and she's been hanging around him for a while and then all sorts of shit happened but yeah, i was like mm. angel it's a slice of life like angels a demon which i will admit she was actually the demon was actually my favorite character yeah i, I remember um uh, that, that's the i think the art's by koge dombo yeah koge dombo early uh early uh, inspirations mm-hmm Koge Dombo. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Pita Ten, very cute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Pita Ten was definitely good. 
I did that, and then I watched. I read the manga, and then I watched the anime. The anime was okay, but I really felt like it went all the way off the manga. <laughs> the manga is definitely really good. Like the art. Oh yeah. Well, I feel like the art hasn't aged as well as you kind of hope, but nope. it's like it's definitely like very early moe. Oh yeah, for sure. It was definitely early moe at the time. Um, so there was that moment, and what else were there? What else was what else was good manga for me? Um, at one point I watched the Deers anime before reading the manga. That was also fun. Pretty etchy though. Well, not heavily etchy, but it was fun. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think it was. Was Peter Tan etchy? No, Peter Tan was not etchy. Peter Tan was definitely not etchy at all. Um, but there were some not triggering moments, but kind of unexpected to say the least. I think there might have been like some panic shots or something. Yeah, some panic shots, but that's really it. It's not really that yeah, etchy. Yeah, uh, it's it's definitely. I mean, it's clamp. Oh, not clamp. Sorry, it's uh, Koge Dumbo. Uh, yeah, for a little, like, kind of fan service. Mm-hmm. But it's, like, it's supposed to be more cute than sexy. Yeah, it was more of a cute moment. Rather than just, like, you know, oh, my gosh, you perv. Yeah. Um. But there was that, and, uh... Uh... I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, um... For anime wise, I have I watched a lot. I, now that I think about it, I sure watched and read a lot of Clamp stuff at the time. Um, I've watched. Clamp is very prolific. It is very prolific. I've watched X nineteen ninety nine, and read some of the manga. Yeah, it was a uh, it was pretty fun. It was very edgy, but it was but it was kind of fun seeing like the interesting ideas to say the least. But it was definitely edgy to say the matter, and. Uh, yeah, I did mention I did mention my frustrations before about that series. I'm like, one of the characters did not deserve to die. <laughs> but um, but it was the only way to like progress the story. Unfortunately, it was just it was just one of those where we're like, damn, such a shame. Yeah, you definitely. I mean, it's one of the things you can't go into it. Yeah. Uh, like even though it's clamp, you can't go into it expecting it to be like other clamp works. Yeah. Well, no, it's not that. It's not that. It's just more or less like, um, it's just more or less storytelling wise. Like they really know how to. They really know how to do a variety of storytelling. Is what I mean. Yeah, for sure. And um, yeah, it was like that. Of course, you can't forget Car Captor Sakura. Yep. Read the manga. Saw the anime, including Car Captors. Yes. And I haven't watched Clear. I watched a few episodes of Clear Card. I haven't finished it yet, but it's pretty good. Um, and of course, who can't, who, who wouldn't forget Sailor Moon anime? Some people read the manga. I've read some of the manga and I've watched a couple of episodes of Crystal. Haven't finished that either. Damn, I had no time to watch anime. <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, there's that. And then, yeah. And then after that was pretty much Gundam series besides G Gundam. Um, I have watched Seed. I've read Seed. I've seen some Seed Destiny, and uh, those were those were all right. They weren't my favorite, but they're not bad. The mu music are. You, oh yeah, you did say you never seen Gundam. Well, I'm still gonna be biased and say you need to watch G Gundam because it is the superior, it is the OG superior Gundam, and nobody will tell me otherwise. Okay, well, <laughs> we can watch that together sometime. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of manga of almost a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, and of course there's Death Note. Yeah, oh, I've, I've seen Death Note and I've read it. I Yep, same. And I will admit, I was an L fangirl. Hmm, interesting. I was actually an L fangirl. <laughs> yeah, I was I was Team L. I, mm. I remember having, like, I had the shirt, a uh, t-shirt of L and everything. Uh, yeah, I but I have a in... keychain too. I don't think I don't think I have it with me right now. I think um, I've seen that keychain. No, I used to have an L keychain, but I know I have I have a Misa one. I still have that. Oh yeah. Yeah, I have a Misa yeah. keychain. I like Misa too. 
At least I liked her design. I thought it was kind of cool. She's she's got that. She's rocking that uh, gothic Lolita. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I read it in the high school first, so uh, mm-hmm. I was definitely an edgy teen that was uh, same. Um, teen, teen light. <laughs> Freaking course. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, every you mean yeah. I guess everyone would predict that I was an old fan girl. I also have I also have watched quite a bit of Bleach too, the anime Bleach, mm. not the actual Bleach. And I have the cone keychain. I used to have an Orihime pin. I was so sad that I lost it back in high school because I really like that Orihime pin. Oh well, and I remember I asked. I actually also had her hair pins too. Mm. I liked Orihime. Okay. I mean, she's cool. She's got a nice design. I like her. I liked her abilities. It was very unique to me. Like her hairpins basically summon like uh, spiritual beings. And she like goes from there. And she also has like a support abilities. I thought that was pretty cool. Did you go to cons with a yaoi paddle? Ved, I only attended one con. (laughs) That's true. In my life. I wish I could. I wish I could attend more cons. We could, maybe this year, or next year. Anime Expo season has already passed. I'd rather not go to Anime Expo. I'd rather go to any cons, really. We could try going to, like, FanFest or something. FanFest, or what was that? Off-Kai. Oh, yeah, Off-Kai would be cool. Mm-hmm. Whoever does it as a monster don't serve rights, even. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking at my keychains right now, and, uh, yeah, I like collecting keychains, and I pretty much started collecting more, like, when I started, pretty much at Shadowbringers era. No, that's not true. I had keychains for a while. I was given, um, I think it was, yeah, it was Wes that gave me the Mila Maxwell Tales keychain. Oh, yeah. I still have it. That was, I, that was one, that's one of my, that's still one of my favorites. Um... I have the dancer keychain. I think that was from you, actually. Yeah, I think, I think that was so, from yeah. you. Yeah, I got you. I have from... Risei Kujikawa I'm... from one of your sisters. I have the cute axolotl that Straub made that she sent to us. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we I have the, the I have the Furiko Neru keychain. I have two of my keychains. Yeah, I think I won both of those. Yeah. No, I think it was... Oh, yeah, I think you... Dude. No, I bought. I thought I bought one of them. I don't remember. Yeah, I think I bought one of them, and then you happened to win the other. Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, I had a free Snowmiku keychain with one of the orders, and I have a couple of Grahatia keychains with the uh, Crystal XR form. And uh, oh yeah, I actually had the one Crystal XR zine that I was able. I pre-ordered. I still, no regrets. I liked it, okay? <laughs> yeah, I have two Risei keychains. I have uh, a Yoimiya keychain. I have my Minato or Makoto Yuki Persona 3 Reload keychain from my pre-order. And uh, Yampers from my mom, because it was very sweet. Um, and I think that's it. And I got a couple of other stickers. I like collecting keychains. I think they're really, I think they're cute charms. That's, that's why I really wanted to make it my, like, my goal, kind of. My mi- Maybe not goal, but I think it's more of a mission. Because I want to collect keychains of my VTuber friends, especially uh, VTuber family. And, uh, yeah, I have, oh, yeah, I have, that's speaking of, I have the Dima keychain recently. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have Dima's keychain. I already, I'm still wait. I'm currently waiting for Kyoharu's flare and umbrace keychain as well we're gonna get all the dima family keychains that's my desk it's not my destiny it's my goal <laughs> no it's mission. my destiny <laughs> it's my mission man i got into my bookmark and the pillow oh yeah one day or a dakimakura one day one day one day. I think that was one of our uh, like uh, sub subathon goals. Yes, it was. You guys did meet, so we will have a Oradaki. Yes, we will. It will happen. Yeah, but realistically, depending on circumstances, I don't know if it, depending on circumstances, it might be limited. It might not. I don't know. We'll see. We don't. We can't yeah. predict the future yet. So. Yeah. All I can say is stay tuned. Um. <clears throat> 
But yeah, that's uh, my collections. I know Astra collects another like Rubik's Cube collections. Yeah, that's not nearly as interesting as keychains, though. I think they're interesting. Like, there's like different shapes. There's like different kinds of com complex puzzles to solve. Like, I like I'm not gonna lie. Like, I only thought of the cubes. I didn't think there were other ones. So. Yeah. So tell us all about it, like. <laughs> well, I, well, we did that Rubik's Cube stream a while ago, didn't we? Yeah, but tell us about, like, what you, uh, what made you start collecting or, like, what you enjoy about them. Uh, I think it was, uh, I mean, I, I started doing it just because, uh, I, it was in college, um, it was when I started the Rubik's Cube hobby. Um, and, uh, it was mostly like it was one like a skill i wanted to learn because it, it you know it, it seemed like an impressive skill um mm. uh and then yeah and then when when i started getting into it i found all these different puzzles um and yeah i don't know i i, I like solving those kinds of uh puzzles it, you know it works it's very logical and and whatever um, mm -hmm. yeah so uh uh yeah that that's uh that's how i got into that um and uh yeah I, I just i bought whatever i could afford at the time most of those puzzles i have were like less than ten dollars or like i got them off ebay for less than ten dollars and some of them um, were gifts yeah yeah you know, some of them were gifts um yeah it's it's uh it's not that much it's not that deep it's just like it was just a hobby for a little while i stopped i stopped after college just because you know, I don't have time for that, and I'm doing other stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of things that we don't have time for anymore. Yeah, the Simpler days are gone. Well, not entirely gone. Never say no. never, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hopefully, you know, the time will come. I'm sure uh, it will. I'm sure it will. It will join the collection. <laughs> Yay! I will make sure I will make sure not to disappoint with the with the sex appeal. Mm. I will make sure I won't disappoint. <laughs> for some reason that sounds dangerous for me to design a Takimakura. But yeah, um there's so many things that made me think back up memories, which is kinda nice every now and then. I feel like now I have like a display of uh, my own hobbies like keychains and all my cards that said we actually found a couple of new i found a couple of new cards yeah which was and they they're like both full sets and they're really nice i was just like yay yeah. lucky i think you still need a box for one of your cards right yeah i still do i could i could maybe print you one of those hey an opportunity for you yeah to design a tarot deck box He's coming up I with can... ideas, everyone. He's coming yeah, up. Yeah. He's having that brain blast moment. Uh, I was thinking of doing some stuff for like some of the board games. See, the, that board game we played recently, um, uh, Wild Hunt Festival, that was actually yeah. really fun. But it was like, fun. I feel, like, I feel like I could definitely design some nice stuff for that. Like, not only an organizer, but like some uh, component upgrades. You always want to design organizers for your board games. Look, it's nice. It's quality of life improvement. I think he, I thought for a second you were just gonna say, "Listen, I love organizers. Don't judge me." <laughs> oh, that's it's so funny. Satisfying. It is definitely satisfying. Don't get me wrong; it was just kind of funny, the way your face was. Do do uh, do do. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't know. Uh... I don't know if you want to keep talking about the board game or if you have another topic in mind. No, I like to talk about the board game. Yeah, so, uh, I, yeah, we could, so, Or and I, for those of you who don't know, which we've been doing this for a while, our Wednesday nights, we don't really have a formal name for them, but we just call them date nights or together nights. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Or and I have been, you know, trying to put forth the effort to, to build our relationship and, and uh, you know, maintaining a relationship is is work but it's it's uh, worth doing um 
uh, but yeah, so um, one of the things that we do is board games because I have a lot of board games. Yep, he um, does. And uh, yeah, and, and definitely a lot of like newer board games that, that probably most people haven't played. Mm-hmm. Um, but a lot of them are really fun, I think. Yeah. It really is like, it really is fun. It's like, it's a nice way for us to like spend time together and just like enjoy our time together yeah <clears throat> yeah it was a really it's definitely a nice step for us to develop like spend time together develop our relationship just get to know each other a little bit more yeah astra has had the huge itch lately to play an rpg or at least some form of co-op together yeah so technically One last night was one yeah, it was actually surprisingly fun. I like I got that game a while ago, but I don't remember ever playing. I could have like, sworn I it. thought we played it before, but we might have just played it like once. But, yeah, uh, I think so too. Yeah, another hobby that we really don't have a lot of time for. Mm hmm. But that's okay though. Yeah. Yeah, um, but we make time and we make the best out of it. We saw a movie too together. Yeah, we did. Yeah, and it was kind of fun. Yeah, it's just fun overall, just, like, spending time together. Yeah. It was so funny. Like, after everybody left, Astra and I had a journey together. And we ended up getting snacks because it was going to be a long way. Oh, yeah. So we had to go distance. <laughs> so we bought three okay. types of Pringles. <laughs> One of them was barbecue. The other was honey mustard. And the third one was like a spicy, like it was like a Minecraft uh, label. So it was like TNT spicy kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it was like a Minecraft promotional. Uh, yeah. Um, so TNT explosion kind of thing. Yeah, which so, is, it was just cheddar cheese and. Uh, it felt like chili. Chili, pepper. yeah. Yeah. It's just chili pepper. That's all it is, really. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was pretty good, though. It was really good, actually. I wouldn't mind more of that. Yeah, same. I like spicy stuff, so I can I can handle it. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. A lot of the flip Pringles flavors are like definitely really interesting. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. Uh, so that that was fun. Yep. Oh yeah, and during the week I saw, I did see the, obviously, as people saw, know by now, I have seen the Money in the Bank and NXT Heatway, and uh, those were quite pay-per-views. So yeah, a lot of people probably know, a lot of people know by now, but yeah. Um, next year, John Cena is retiring from wrestling. So that's, uh, it is expected, but it's also surreal, to say the least. Because it was just like over 20 years in one company. Never never left. Stayed in one company. Didn't have any issues. Accomplished so much. And it was just so surreal. Because we all practically grew up with him. Like, a lot of people, granted, are familiar with the names like The Rock, Hulk Hogan, Steve Austin, uh, Kurt Angle, Edge. All of these names. Undertaker. Dusty Rhodes, a lot of those superstars, but I think a lot of to like a lot of people, John Cena pops up. Mm. I remember watching his. Uh, I didn't actually watch it live, but I did see a lot of videos of his uh his debut, and it's crazy how much he has improved. Cena's last opponent should be Kurt Angle. There's so many people that could be his last opponent. Honestly, you can think of Kurt Angle. You could think of Edge. You could think of Randy Orton. A lot of people are speculating about that because they had a legendary feud. They have CM Punk. There's so many, even The Rock. There's so many people that Cena could do. That's why it's just so exciting and bittersweet at the same time to see how his farewell tour will go. And, yeah, and the fun fact is that, and the fun fact is we'll have, well, in a way, WWE will be on Netflix. Um, oh, that would be cool. International will have everything. Um, US will be somewhat limited, but we'll have stuff. 
which is nice. But yeah, it's really nice that we're having more access to say the least. But also at the same time, because they're going on Netflix next year, there is no holding back in terms of content. As yeah. in, they can get risque. That should be exciting. That's it's risque. Anyone remember Edge and Lita live sex segment? <laughs> what? They actually did. Yeah, they actually did that. <laughs> it wasn't. They didn't obviously show the bits, but there is a segment on that. <laughs> there is a segment. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty bold. Yep. So imagine that. <laughs> they certainly haven't been holding back lately. I was shocked to hear the news. Honestly, it's not really shocking. Because he's hit, not only is he hitting up his age, but he's been doing a lot of movies. He basically took the rock route. So if you think about it, it does, it does add up. Same with Batista, really. Well, Batista kind of quit, if I recall correctly. Um, the Rock is m more than willing to come back when he has time. Like, he feels welcomed. Like, hell, he even came in for WrestleMania 40. Uh, but yeah, it was just, it was just really interesting to see all, like, the wrestling stuff that's happening. Yeah, Dave did quit. Yeah, I was just like, he did quit, and then he had, like, a movie movie stuff. But uh, John Cena never did, even despite his thing. Technically, Rock didn't, because he still comes back, and he's still welcome. So, yeah, there's a lot of people that never wanted to come back because there were some bad bloods, and there's some, like, uh, mixed feelings. But, eh, it is what it is with business. It's what's best for business, apparently. Yeah. But yeah. All because WWE didn't give him what he wanted. There's a lot of things WWE didn't give what they want, what people want. Like, heck, they didn't give CM Punk the benefit of the doubt at first, back in the day, back in like 2013, 14 days. Was he an asshole at times? Yeah. But like, there are some things that were just uncalled for. Like, for example, who the hell would have. Who the hell call someone on their wedding day just to hear you're fired that's that's pretty oof <laughs> who would do that why would you do that that's pretty cruel it was it was a mess at the time but i think a lot of things not all of them but a lot of things felt a little bit easier with people when Triple H took over. It was, uh, it's a difference maker. And a lot of stuff, and a lot, there's a lot of things that are catching up to Vince. And that's why he kind of, like, stepped down. Thank God for that, too. <laughs> yeah. Who remembers JC was in a Fred movie? Oh, Yeah. I remember that too. Yeah, John Cena was uh, featured in a lot of uh, movies. Yeah, but yeah. There was a lot of like, there's a lot of things that were catching up to Vince that it's not very good, lawsuit wise. It was so annoying. There was this. Uh, it was a Money in the Bank pay per view when um, people were asking Triple H questions. Um, not just Triple H, but I think it was Cena too. Um, but the same person kept asking about they they asked John Cena about Vince McMahon and then he asked Triple H about Vince McMahon and I was just like dude stop wasting your time or stop being so disrespectful and Triple H had the like most polite answer it was just like I'd rather not discuss any legal uh, purposes thank you next question so it's just like it was a way of saying like with all due respect Please stop. <laughs> like, really? Honestly, for WWE during the Vince era, dickhead is a compliment. Yeah. That is a compliment. But yeah. I'm sorry. I know this was a little bit forbidden. This was like foreign language. No, it's, it's all good. 
With all due respect, shut the fuck up. Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. But yeah, there are some ups and downs for sure. But anyway, um, yeah, was there anything you wanted to talk about, Astra? Like, I know this is like, you're still learning about wrestling. Yeah. And uh, he has been watching a bit here and there. Yeah, I've been watching with you, uh, you know, usually whenever we get home. Yeah. Yeah, it's so really I'm, fun. Yeah, so I'm starting to understand, like, some of the storylines and stuff. Yeah, he definitely was. He's definitely engaged with me on the whole love triangle between Dominic, Rhea Ripley, and Liv Morgan. Yeah, it seems it was pretty just dramatic. So, it's so funny, too. Freaking Carlito. <laughs> I love that man so much. It was just so funny how that worked out. That said, that said, Rhea Ripley is best waifu. Just saying. No, but all seriousness, like, she's really, she's an amazing talent. Yeah, she's pretty cool. <laughs> I love Rhea. It's so great. She's so great. <laughs> yeah. She has a lot of, like, yeah, she's just a pretty cool person. Like, especially outside of the ring. Like, you see, like, a lot of, like, uh, the hobbies. I was like, she's just such a, she's such a cute nerd uh, outside of the ring. And then in the ring, she's a badass. I mean, that's, the, <laughs> that's that. I don't know what they call it. She has in, that aura. In... Well, I was hey! going to say Gapboe, but that's more of, like, an idol term. <laughs> she has that aura, man. Hey, yo. Engage with you? I thought you two married already. Err. <laughs> But yeah, it was just, it was just, yeah, it was really nice to get into wrestling, especially get into the pay-per-views. I'm looking forward to uh, Astar watching SummerSlam. That's one of the big pay-per-views. Mm. That's going to be fun to do. Hopefully it doesn't fuck up. <laughs> I think Rhea is just playing along with Liv. That's another thing that I liked about her, char like her character, playing those mind games. Gotta play the mind games. Got things smart, and not uh, not bronze all the time. And we picked out we're picking out the shirt to wear a WWE show. Oh, you're watching a WWE show to wear to a WWE show. Mess ours on nice. So we picked out Rio's brutality tour show. Yeah, the brutality tour show is so funny. <laughs> I have a couple of WWE shirts actually. Um. I have Bailey's old shirt, the I'm a hugger shirt. I don't have it with me though. Um, I have that. I have two of AJ Lee's shirts, the old love bites and the uh, quote unquote latest one. Oh, they're going, you're not? Ah. I think I bought you at least one of those. Yeah, you did. And uh, the other one uh, I got was the Kabuki Warrior shirt. And I'm trying to think. Yeah. Was there any other shirts? I think that was it, actually. Those shirts are expensive. They are. Well, they yeah. Really, it's they really charge brand. For the, uh, yeah, for the brand. Yep, they charge for the brand. Yeah, they're really expensive. Almost as expensive as freaking Disney merch when you go to Disney World. Yeah. I guess you pay what you. I guess you get what you got. Get what you paid for. I guess to be a fan. I mean, they're, yeah, they're decent shirts, and, and yeah, certainly if, if you're a fan. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, I was looking into Damien Priest shirts, and I was just like, man, so expensive. I wanted a Damien Priest shirt. I wanted a Rhea Ripley shirt. Those are the two that I care about right now. Probably gotta get them. I don't know if they're still available. Might have to. Uh... No, they're still available. But I think some shirts uh, aren't. And I could just get them like outside for probably cheaper, ironically. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have so many yeet shirts though. Oh, yes, Jey Uso. Yeet! Yep, that's his new catchphrase now. Yeet! And everybody goes along with it. They recently made, uh, instead of like the, like, instead of waving out their cell phones, they made like foam fingers. In order to like, uh, for a certain storyline, Damian Priest was on our shirt list. Dude, I enjoy Damian Priest's work. He's improved so much. 
And also, again, Puerto Rico represent. That said, I yes, I also love Zelina Vega. Zelina Vega is a good one. Um, I feel like I haven't seen her. You have. I'm pretty sure you have. She was that uh, platinum blonde haired girl, the short girl with the Puerto Rico oh. uh, uh, gear. Oh, okay. The one who has like when you see her cloak, it when she pops, when she wave, rips, when she like spreads out her arms, it's a Puerto Rican flag. Oh, okay. Yeah, her. That was her. Then and she worked with Rey Mysterio. So there's that. Um, can we please get the U.S. title off Logan Paul already? I think he is actually. I think they might take the title off at SummerSlam. He's probably gonna lose it to L.A. Knight. I think that's what they're like alluding towards. He's getting the Roman Reigns treatment. Here's the thing, and I told Astra about it. He's been holding the title for almost over 200 days. And he's only defended it twice. The difference between Logan, at least Roman Reigns, he's defended that title quite a few times. And he's held it for over a thousand days. 1,316 days. That's a huge record right there. That's quite a reputation. And he also had Paul Heyman. Like, benefit of the... But to be fair, he was shoved upon us at the top, a while back. He was shoved upon us, and that's what was annoying about it. Like, it didn't feel like a development. So when he took some time off, I think it was... I don't remember if it was injury or vacation. But, of course, we heard the leukemia story. So fun fact, uh, Roman at the time was fighting... Uh, cancer leukemia so he had to relinquish a title to focus on his health and thank god he was in remission and everybody understood it was more relatable it was like oh shit maybe we should chill we love we love the character behind roman reigns we just didn't like the way that people were developing that character so when he came back he had a, not only had a heel turn which was thank god he did but he had paul Heyman to manage him and Paul Heyman was one of, if not the best managers you would ever have of all time. If your manager in a wrestling career is Paul Heyman, you're not only going to hold the title for a, quite some time, but you're in good hands. Like you, like they. That means you know you ha you're going to have a pretty good career. Your people are. You're going to be. You're going to be marketable. Like you're set, basically. Cause that man is a legend and he's even, and he's now in the hall of fame. Wow. So yeah, there was a lot of thing. Everybody had a lot of screwed up moments, but you can't deny the hard work that they put into. Um, Paul Heyman is, uh, Paul Heyman is someone to respect for sure. And he's still like, he was kind of, he was kind of wholesome enough to actually attend, um, Roman's dad's, uh, funeral. Wow. Like he had to take the time out of the, like, he took the time out of the hospital to attend the funeral and then go back to the hospital after. Like, wow, that's, uh... he has huge respect for Roman. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, it was really something. So he took, yeah, Roman took time off after WrestleMania after losing the title to focus on himself. And so pretty much nowadays when, you co when he comes back, which he is highly rumored to come back around SummerSlam, there's going to be a huge, huge pop. So here's the thing. It goes to show that it takes a lot of time and dedication to hone your craft, to work, to put in all the work, of course, but also like be the best self that you can possibly be or ha and how you'd like to present yourself. And without, and don't put, don't shove it upon everyone. Like once you get more and more used to it, once you build yourself, then it builds up. So in wrestling terms, you if you become a face and people are like, oh, you're so bored of him, and then change it up a little, turn into a heel, people start to be like, okay, I'm watching you, I'm watching you. If you're a champion as a heel, you're going to get a lot more heat, but people are going to pay attention to you. Gotta Gotta manifest that. But when you lose the title, when you, or when you take time off, you coming back, possibly as either a hero or a babyface, you get a huge pop because everybody now respects you. Everybody knows you better. 
And uh, everybody's looking forward to seeing more of you again. That's what happened to Rhea, too. It's all about good sportsmanship. Not only good sportsmanship, but, like, you see, you reflect upon how much work that you put into and how much respect you've earned to not only the staff, but also the audience. Mm. Uh, Is it criminal that I now have the Hoss of Rahala? I mean, nothing wrong with that. I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised you didn't say Valkyria. Because her name is Lyra Valkyria, too. She has a pretty cool... Uh, I know Astro was pretty interested in her. Yeah, she she seemed really cool. Yeah, Lyra Valkyria. There's not a lot of, like, build-up for her yet, though. But she has a pretty cool, like... Uh, she has a pretty... She's a good wrestler. She has a pretty decent design. But it just feels like they're pretty much putting her on the limbo. But it, I guess give it some time. Because they put... Because Damian Priest also had that limbo, too. Yeah, Valhalla is Sarah Logan. Um, but yeah, just to like, not, <laughs> just to not bombard any more of Astra stuff. You're more than welcome to talk about anything else. Like, I'm totally fine with it. I don't know. I mean, we've been really busy for the past week and then haven't really had a lot of time to do a lot of free stuff. So we, I haven't really done much. <laughs> yeah. At least I had some of my wrestling. Yeah. So that was, uh, that's my wrestling little brain. Oh, and of course, Joe Hendry. <laughs> yeah, you've been playing the Joe Hendry theme song a lot. Listen, it's catchy, okay? If you, it is, you, it is catchy. You would enjoy it, too. You would it, understand not, the hype. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I'm just saying. I know. <laughs> we've been hearing it around the house a lot. Listen, it's a banger, okay? It is. You should just do a full-on cover. I could. But no, it was actually interesting, because I actually watched a video of, like, uh, the behind the scenes of the song like he he actually talked about how he like created a song or why he developed it um and he said he was just looking for like the beat that everyone enjoys like he understands the audience like he knows that music is everyone enjoys and you want a memorable song someone to remember you by and he was able to find like the beats that everyone enjoys so if you so if you listen to like a rhythm like dun 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 and then if you hear, like, say his name and he appears, I believe in Johan. Like, it's so easy to remember. It's not complicated. It's just easy. Yeah. And it's, like, enjoyable. It's very, like, catchy. So if you have that tempo, like, you're going to listen to it. You're going to be, like, uh, you're going to want to go along with it. It's no different than enjoying a any other concert. Yeah, it's good. It's it's a, it's a it's, performance. It's a good performance. It's genius. Like, you if you know how to captivate an audience, you're gonna have you're gonna have a pretty good career. Not just wrestling, but in general. And that's why like he's had that for a while in another like company, and now that he's uh visiting NXT every now and then, he um yeah everybody remembers him. That's how you that's how you have a good that's how you represent yourself. You have that, he has that figure, he has the catchy song, he has that gimmick, and it's just really good. I think WWE should bring back entrance videos, that way we can at least identify the wrestlers and the time Death Rebels. Yeah, yeah. And luckily Joe Hendry has his still. But yeah, I actually got to know his stuff better, and he's like, he's really cool. He usually, he actually does incorporate music into his feuds, too. A lot of savage moments as well. You don't see a lot of people, like, do it well. It's just a matter of, like, it's, it's just about when you, it's just about how you approach the content that you enjoy to the next level. Right. Like, for example, if I were to draw a tarot card right now, if I were just draw, like, the, the six of coins, I would just say, bitch, you better be humble. You better make sure you're enjoying these moments, but never forget who got you up to this point in life. Yeah, gotta stay humble. Always stay humble. So, it's literally about that. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I learned a lot of I learned a lot about developing characters as well as like how to make a good performance 
from the wrestler storylines themselves not just wwe but other like uh brands as well it's a really good technique and it's a good way to like you know try to develop your own character and write your own story like just make it make it convince make it believable and give a good performance because that's how that's because the audience are going to be the ones to help you elevate that's why a lot of that's why a lot of times you hear wrestlers say it's about the that's about the fans. Yeah, I mean that's what it's all for, right? Mm -hmm. Just like the community is what makes a streamer or any other content creator. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If we don't have people watching, what's what are we even doing this for? I mean, it depends, but yeah, it is true. It's just really important to like stay humble, and it's really important to. You know, just have fun. Most importantly, just be the best self that you could be. Like I was saying earlier. Yeah, it's 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 a careful balance between like catering to your audience and and making stuff that you want to make. Yeah. But, uh, also, like I guess, like you know, make what you want to make, and there will be an audience that will find it. Hopefully. Yeah. It really is just a matter of luck. But you know what? Let luck come to us. <laughs> that said, it was so funny last night <laughs> of how much luck you had. F with what? The board game. Oh. <laughs> luck or lack of luck. <laughs> it was so funny. Because when we played the board game last night together, I kept begging Astra to heal. <laughs> and he was just like, but my mana! <laughs> Look, one of the mechanics but of the my game mana, is, is man. six -sided die to But my mana! Action. You're the one that chose the character. I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, I chose the character, but I kept rolling one. <laughs> Yeah, you actually did. So, depending on the characters, like certain stats. So, there are certain numbers that for him he would miss. And he was just like, okay, I'm going to attack four times. And he kept hitting the miss. And, and he's just like, guess I'll just die then. I should have played Yahtzee because I would have rolled five ones in a row. <laughs> yeah, you actually would win that game. Oh my god. It was just so, so goes, funny. So goes the dice. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny to think about too. Apparently WWE is touring Japan and sadly Logan Paul couldn't come because of other commitments. Yeah. Sadly. Wink. <laughs> so sad. Yeah, we all know why you didn't come on a tour in Japan. Yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> so sad. How tragic. Oh no. Logan Paul could not come to Japan. As if he could attend to work in general. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, sorry. I still have my shoot my shot again. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm a say so streamer. Slash, slash S. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so... This is so interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, in other words, while we were on vacation, um, saw a couple of cool stuff that Advances was doing. Quite a lot of new flavors. Yeah. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. And yeah, there's going to be lots of cool stuff coming up. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to have some more fun stuff coming up. We're just getting back into like the rhythm of the flow of uh, uh, of streaming. I say heck it and hello. No, I'm kidding. I know it's not always the right decision. But you know what? It's all about just having fun together. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Take your time. Loading screen, take your time. Are there any other stuff that you're excited for, Astra? Coming up uh, in the year? Coming up in the year? Yeah! Um, I'm trying to think. I, I, I haven't really been paying too much attention to like upcoming stuff. Um, I don't know. I guess the, the biggest thing, I guess, would be, like, upcoming Genshin stuff or something. Hmm. Sorry, can you hold on one moment? Can you continue to talk for a bit? Okay. 
Um, yeah, uh, I guess uh, I don't know if everybody's seen the. Uh, oh yeah, you're. Wait, are you still? Are you still on mic? I can't tell. Oh, hopefully she's muted. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if everybody's seen uh, how many people still play Genshin. Um, but uh, yeah, the uh, the um, what should we call it? the the upcoming patch for for Natalan looks really interesting. All the new characters look really cool. The new environment looks really cool. Um, hopefully, all the new characters don't like power creep in terms of like excuse me um, exploration ability. One second, I'm gonna drink some water. Um, yeah, because it looks like all the new characters have, like, cool exploration ability. Um, but, uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't, like, completely obsolete the old characters. After playing, um, after playing, like, Wuthering Waves, um, uh, it's kind of hard to, I mean, yeah, it's kind of hard to go back to Genshin, um, with its, like, much slower pace exploration. I miss being able to run on walls and stuff. Um, uh, oh yeah, I also saw a trailer for, um, for an upcoming game. It's called, it, it had a really weird name. I think it, it, it was called like Neverness to Everness or something like that. Um, uh, yeah, it looks like another like open world exploration game. Uh, it looks cool, but I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna gonna play it. Sorry, I was this. Uh, I had a call. No, it's all good. Hopefully, I didn't sound too loud. No, uh, I I I think I was worried that you didn't mute yourself or something. Uh, yeah, no, I muted the stream. Um, I I mean I made sure to mute the stream. I was mute. Okay. I muted the call just in case. Okay. But yeah, I'm good, Chief. Sorry, I know you were talking about Genshin. Go on. I was, I was, I mean, I was just talking about other gacha games that we saw. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, there's so many, like, open world games coming out right now. Yeah. Um, that, uh, there's just not enough time for it. Like, Neverness to Everness looks kind of cool, but, um... But you I'm also probably... have a love-hate relationship with gacha, too. I do. I hate Gacha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love any of them. I like Genshin, but not because of the Gacha. You have a love and hate I... relationship in general with Gacha. Which I don't yeah. blame. To, to be fair, I don't blame you. you could, but it's just yeah. fun. It's just funny just seeing you like either love and rage at the same time. It's just it's just to me it's kind of endearing. Cause it gives me, cause it gives, cause you give all, cause it makes, it's interesting. I guess I'm kind of like you. It's interesting to hear about your passions, especially ones that you dislike. Hmm. I um, mean, like, you know, it's, it's just the current paradigm of game design is that there's a lot of good stuff, but it's like bundled in with the bad stuff. Like you mm -hmm. just have to kind of put up with the bad stuff in order to get to the good stuff. Yeah, just make actual games. Yeah, I'm like the way, say, <coughs> tail, the, the way Yeah, the way Genshin's plot and stuff is set up, like the fact that you meet every character. If it was just a traditional RPG, you would just get them on your party right there without having to roll for them. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I mean, yeah. it makes more sense with I guess I guess with Genshin. I don't know. With Tales, it makes sense. Because it's like... A lot of the Tales mobile games, especially... Uh, I feel like there was a latest one that shut down in Japan. Which one? I don't remember it. I don't remember it. Didn't, wasn't there a Tales game that shut down in Japan or something? I think it was... Raze was the one that was like surviving the longest that I think also got shut down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but there's... It just seems to be... They have the mindset of where um, they think that just because it's tails they'll succeed but then they wonder why is that not working out well and then they have to shut down because they can't afford their servers or something like that i don't know 
I don't remember the reason. You guys are more than welcome to correct me, but the point is, is that they really screwed over the Tails fans so many times. And now we're at the point where I think they're, I don't remember, but they're no longer going to do Tails or something like that. I don't remember. I think they're still going to do Tails because it's still like their most, uh, it's still their most, um, yeah, it's still uh, their most profitable like RPG series. I feel like there was another one that they've been. Uh, I could obviously be wrong, but isn't Tra Trails also Nemco? Or was it something else? No, it was, I feel like it was something else, but I don't remember. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't remember. I haven't played the game, so feel free to correct me. But I feel like there was another one. Yeah, so unfortunately they did. They're more into like. Apparently, Sword Art Online is a little more of their selling point. That's why they had to oh, have a freaking yeah. Sword Art Online collab with the Tales of Freaking Arise. That's true. They keep putting out. Uh, more SAO games as they, well. They had no problem releasing SAO games, but not Tales. They still have a really bad record of uh, mobile games, so even their SAO mobile games get shut down pretty quickly. That's funny. <laughs> so like That's like the golden child nowadays. Yeah, but it's just that they refuse to actually invest in their mobile games, they, and they don't do anything new with their mobile games. It's they keep like, not learning their lessons. They make the same mistakes over and over again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Licensed anime games in general. Yeah, how about that Love Live mobile gadget game? How did that come along, by the way? Did y'all get <laughs> lots of screenshots in three months <laughs> when it opened and then closed? <laughs> End of service immediately at launch. Oh, we are we are proud to announce this Love Alive all gacha. We are proud to announce this Love Alive gacha game that will be releasing this month. We regret to say that we will be shutting down in three months after it releases. And I'm just like, ha! Huh? What's the point then? Yeah, I say it's not a great anime anymore. You know, it's it's a kind of. Maybe it's not sad at this point. It's almost laughable to say that the abridged series is miles better than the actual anime itself. Yeah, that's what a lot of people say. A lot of people say, don't watch the actual anime. Just watch the freaking abridged series. You don't need to know much. Yeah, it's definitely uh, not great. Mm-hmm. So much of it is, like, is just the marketing. Kirito and Asuna is very marketable these days. I I yeah, don't know. Like, they're basically just the Asuna, I get it. Namco Bandai. I thought for a second you were going to say a phase. And I'm just like, I would not be surprised if they're a phase. They're basically like the mascot right now. Because like, what's Namco Bandai's mascot? Pac-Man? I guess so. But when was the last new Pac-Man game? Pac-Man 99? I don't know. <laughs> That's all I heard. I know they made a couple of Pac-Man games at the time. Yeah, but it's not like they're big seller. Uh, not big seller, but I did remember they were doing like merch too. I remember they did Pac-Man Adventures. Yeah, Pac-Man World. I know they did merch too, because I remember like they did like they tried doing like the I think it was Lego set of Pac-Man. There was that. And, uh, yeah. I know there's a Zelda one, but imagine how cool it would be to have, like, a Lego set of Tales, of a Tales game. Probably, I can see Symphonia making it. Can you imagine, like, the great Yggdrasil tree in Lego form of Symphonia? Like, the iconic moment in just the game some, uh, itself? Yeah, just, just some, like, mini figs of the Tales characters would be really cool. Yeah, but imagine, like, the scenery itself. Yeah, you could do, like... Tower of Salvation. Oh yeah, like Tower of Salvation, which is so Tower of Salvation would be so cool. It would. I mean, it would just be a tall stack of like. I feel like something more interesting like Asalia. Um, yeah, Asalia know. would or work. Like, That's why Palma I was mentioning. Uh, nah. Or, I would say Asalia. Trying to think of like a super Crucius. Super iconic, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a super iconic. Well, well, Ga well, Gaia, which is Crucius's base, the Angel yeah, City. Maybe. I think it would be pretty cool. Um, there's that. But yeah, I think Towers of Avenger or the Tree of Yggdrasil. Yeah, Darius Carlon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hi, Popple. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome, Raiders. Hello. Welcome, Raiders. 
I don't know what happened to Astro, but hello, welcome, welcome. Well, welcome, welcome. We are Astro and Aura. We are Starcraft Channel. Husband and wife, VTuber from the stars above you. And we are doing our Lover's Quarrel. We've been shooting our shot. We've been talking about our vacation. He's probably hydrating right now. Um, and yeah. How's it going, Topo? How was your stream? Super Monkey Ball, Banana Rumble. Oh, man, Super Monkey Ball. I haven't played that in forever. How was that? I hope you had a good stream. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. We do lots of stuff together. And we play games together. Most of the time. <laughs> yeah, can you see if we did talk about it? Um, and we were just talking about Lego sets, and we were just talking about like the Tail series after talking about Gacha games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, hopefully, hopefully the the paradigm shift doesn't go too much towards um, Gacha games. Um, I or, think it or almost does. Like, yeah. I think that's what we're looking yeah, at. I mean, I, look at yeah. Nike. Look at Fate yeah. Grand Order. Look at Genshin. Look at the other Hoyo games like Star Rail and now Zenla Zone Zero. Yeah, every it's yeah they're beating like even the big companies like EA. Even EA has started releasing the those games on. That's like, so uh, sad Star. and so hilarious at the same time. It How is sad. Beating but EA this is games. This the world we live in. Yeah, we live in anime. <laughs> I'm okay with this, except for all the, like, predatory Oh, stuff. yeah, for sure. Beat the game. Some cities are difficult. Oh, nice. Well, I'm glad you beat the game. How did you have fun? I haven't played Super Monkey Ball in forever. Those are fun. Um, but, yeah, I guess Astro's looking forward to Natalyn. Yeah, yeah, that, that should be cool. Yeah. Obviously, for the fans here, I'm looking forward to episode, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna be streaming it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's coming up. That's too. coming up. Uh, I know Dawn Trail was out. We haven't had a chance to play or time, and we were also kind um, of yeah, and we... also we were trying to recover. Yeah. So yeah, we we, we spent yeah. so much money we barely have almost unnecessarily have. too. Yeah. So, uh, but hey, whatever. <laughs> At least we're recovered. We're recovering. Um. But yeah, I'm looking forward to episode, I guess. Uh, what else am I looking forward to, honestly? Um, I mean, I'm, there's already already released games that I'm looking forward to. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, Dungeons of Hinterburg just came out. Full game. Oh yeah, we tried that demo. Yep. It's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, it just the full game just came out. Yeah, I, I don't know if you want to get it and... Uh... I mean, I don't know. It's 10% off, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm trying to recover. But anyway, I'm not going to worry too much about it. If I find another sale, great. If not, no big deal. I don't, well, it's on I'm not sale in a right rush. now, isn't it? Yeah, I know it's on sale, but again, we're kind of recovering. Yeah. I mean, we can buy it later. We have so many other games. To It'll always enough. come. It'll always come back. Sales happen all the time in Steam. Yeah. So I'm not overly worried about it. Um... Yeah, when I came out to work, I had over 100 emails. <laughs> I yeah. had over 100 emails. But luckily, yeah, everybody they, was so understanding. Mm -hmm. I need to get back on streaming P3R, but I'll wait till anyone is all caught up. I think at this point, you might as well just play it, because by now, everybody would have beaten it. And also, everybody's going to be talking about a lot of spoilers, especially if you haven't played first time. I would recommend playing it now because episode I guess is coming up and a lot of people are going to talk about spoilers, especially if it's your first time. So I think by now you're safe unless you're talking about, unless you mean that you're playing the game together with a uh, friend or something like that, which is fine. But I would, like I said, I would recommend those of you who haven't played the first time, I get time. But definitely be careful out there and see if you can finish the game soon. Because, yeah, it's gonna be a lot. Oh, you're playing a new game plus? Gotcha. Then, yeah, you'll be fine. This is to those that uh, have the game but haven't had a chance to finish. Just be careful out there for spoilers. Um, even though it's like a decade-old game. 
<laughs> I mean, there's some stuff to spoil in. in yeah, Disney. there is. And there's probably going to be a ton of new content for, for the Ice story. Yeah, there's going to be some new content for sure. I mean, the theurgy, for example. How's yeah. it going? It's been going. <laughs> going it's going but yeah hey we're hanging in there we're living we're yeah, still kicking and that's what matters you know yep um but yeah now that everything's out of the way we can focus on a lot of stuff that we've been wanting to do for a while yeah which we'll focus on back nice. to animation back to working on our re-debut stuff mm-hmm time to just relax and catch up on some video games or anime or whatever speaking of games <laughs> it's so funny that i'm finally catching up on the dlc for power wash and then their anniversary came and they released another the muckingham files update so now i have, so now i have that content and the files at least i have plenty to go by yeah it's my guilty pleasure game okay uh, nothing wrong with that yeah uh, another month. Yep. Oh yeah. Those of you who have Nitro, have you guys seen the new stuff that came out on the shop on Discord? They released the SpongeBob theme. Oh yeah. The SpongeBob icon in the background. I kind of want one. <laughs> well, if you have Nitro. Uh. Uh. What? Yeah, yeah, uh, totally. I have Nitro, yeah. <laughs> so anyway! SpongeBob 25th anniversary. Yeah, it's really cute. Well, all those Nitro items are so expensive, like 10 bucks just for a little avatar decoration. Yeah, that's why I'm not really, like, leaning towards that. Yeah. That was the reason why I didn't get those. Yeah, avatar themes and uh, backgrounds. They're cute. But they're luckily really they'll well designed, but, but luckily they'll stay. So it's not like they're limited. Oh, is it not limited? Nope. Not limited. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully they have a sale or something. Yeah, they still have the they have the Pow World one, they have the Galaxy Con. That said, um am I gifted me the uh the stargazing bundle. Oh, that's cool. No, partially owned, sorry. I have the constellation one. Yeah, she gifted me uh, the thing. That's why you see the constellation on my avatar. Oh, okay. It was a gift. <laughs> Fair. Damn, mine's too much. But I love her. <laughs> she's too much. She's too sweet. Yeah. But yeah. Well, what do you want? No bed. No. We don't want any of them. <laughs> Thank you for stopping that. <laughs> Thank you for stopping that. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> They're all really cute, though, I will admit. Yeah. Um. Oh, my goodness. It's so, yeah. The design is, like, nicely done. Do, do, do. Uh, yeah. You want to talk about anything else, or should we uh, wind down? Um... I think we could just chill for a bit. No need to force that, you know. I hope, we could... okay. I hope you guys are looking forward to some stuff coming up. Are you guys excited for some Metal Gear tomorrow? Metal Gear? Yeah. Yeah, I guess we can talk about our upcoming streams. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going back to art. Uh, obviously, uh, um, I did not miss any weeks. No, he for, didn't, uh... actually. For, uh, for the weekly art. I, I have not missed a week yet, and I have didn't miss a week while we were on vacation. Yep. There are no breaks on the art train. Mm-hmm. On the art train, indeed. The A train. The A train? <laughs> A train, baby. Has everybody seen The Boys? The the, shit, the the Amazon show. Not yeah, about to say which one. <laughs> <laughs> not the Star Frost boys. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to laugh at your stealth skill. Good. Get ready to clip them then. <laughs> yes. That's the point. <laughs> it's about the content. I'm going to cringe so much and everybody's going to enjoy it. Hooray. Da, da, da. Um, yeah. 
uh, I mean, I guess if you want, you can talk about your experience with MGS or your lack thereof. Like, you know, have you, have you, I, I, I feel like you have watched people stream it. Uh, I actually, I watch very few, but I've watched a lot of videos. A lot of videos, a lot of AMVs, listen to music. I watched some walkthroughs before. But I haven't experienced the play myself, and I wanted to for a long time. I never had the opportunity. Oh, well, now you do. I know, and I'm so excited to finally try it out. I'm so ready to have fun with it, and I'm so ready to cringe, make everyone cringe. <laughs> but yeah, yeah technically, those, those it would be. Are take a bit to get used to. Yeah, technically, it's my first time playing, so. But I'm looking forward to it. Definitely enjoy it. Savor it because, you know, you only get to play it for the first time once. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what it's all about. It's my training arc. I'm ready for you to search for the phone number at the back of Oh no. Oh right, yeah, that's one of the one of the mechanics. Mm -hmm. uh, do we still have the case? I think so. Oh yeah. So we took all the discs and put them in a in like a little organizer. Um, yeah, I think we did. Yeah. Um. But I mean, it's kind of a meme. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Um. Everybody knows. Uh, I kind of know is. a little bit about that. I kind of know about it. It's just I kind of know a little bit about it. It's just been a lot forever. I've watched the memes. I've watched. The, I've seen the videos. I've seen the pics. Yeah, I've I mean I, I have studied before. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, we'll we'll let you figure it out. I think I think we still have the box. I'll, I'll get the box for you for when we need that. Yeah, I can. I mean, I'm gonna need it anyway because we're gonna set up some stuff. So. Yeah, so yeah, that should be fun. And then there's also, not gonna be much. Also, Google is your friend, but that be yeah. that be taking the cheap route. So. No, like the game is completable by itself, but the no, I know incorporated the game box into a small game mechanic. Right, right, um, right. That is required for progression. Right. No, I know that. It's just like you know, it's just fun having that experience itself. I'm saying that Google's the cheap way out. Oh yeah, but yeah. It's definitely. I like, want to experience well, yeah. it. I guess, like, I mean, when it first came out, um, uh, like. Like, you know, finding that information online wasn't so easy, so... Oh, yeah, for sure. That's exactly um, why. Yeah, it's, it's, that's how you could say the same thing with, like, any other moments. Like, for example, you have to write... For Golden Sun, you have to... You didn't have the internet. You have to write down the code. And I remember writing the Golden Code, six pages of that, so many times on my notebook. Yeah, yeah, before, before mm -hmm. like, save files were a thing, because, like... You yep. know, old old consoles didn't have room for save files. Yep. Um, the password systems in so many games. Yep. Um, like Mega Man X, um, I think one through three all use the password. Same system. with the Oracle games. In order to like get the final content, you have to beat the two games and get the codes from there. Yeah. The cheap way out is let that one is let that one friend who played it and knows the Lord do it for you. You know what? That's touche. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like you know what? Touche. <laughs> you, you guys, you guys are the friend. Chat is gonna be that friend because you guys are gonna be watching her. But like, you know, remember this is Laura's first experience, so make it as good as possible. Oh yeah, for sure. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a pin top like no spoilers kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, you guys are just as much part of the experience. Yeah. That's gonna be a lot of fun. I can see, yeah. my, I can see myself screwing up so many times, and I can see, I can, I can see myself screwing up at the bullshit moments. Yeah. And the sure. and the dumb moments, I'm just gonna be like, "Yep." So it's gonna be one of those moments, huh? <laughs> yep. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Yeah, it should be fun. Um. Were there any series that you wanted to play at some point? Uh, I, w I really want to play the Valkyrie games. I want to play the Atelier games. Atelier games uh, would be interesting for you to play. I yeah. Think you, I think you said like, you've never played it? I played a little bit of uh, of Rorona. Mm -hmm. I've watched people play it, but uh, yeah, it, it seems like a game I would enjoy. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to play those. 
Mm-hmm. Um, you should. I, I know they're very long games as well. Yeah, they're long games for sure. But I mean, like, you can do that. Lovers quarrel night. Oh no! <laughs> Hi Molly, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the first time, chat. How are you doing? I hope you're doing hope you, well. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying this. So, you don't know. Uh, I think every, almost every week, we we do a little podcast which we call Lovers Quarrel. If you want to see our previous episodes, they should be available on YouTube. Right? <laughs> yeah, they are. The way you read that was so cute. I'm dying. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoy. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I was just like, wait a minute. <laughs> I, that's familiar. Oh, wait, it is. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a Sony code. Oh my God. I was like, wait. Wait a minute. You're familiar. Oh, wait. I haven't seen... Oh, my God. How have you been? I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's the... Um, uh, Osorico. The duo. The maid duo. Oh. Yeah, awesome. it's Osorico. How you doing? Oh, and we got a raid. And a raid. Sylvie, thank you so Sylvie, much for the raid. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome, raiders. We are Astronora. One half a star cross. Husband and wife beat to from the stars above you. And we are doing our Lovers Quarrel. We're talking about our stuff. We're shooting our shot. Oh my god. How is Tales of the Abyss? Playing one of oh, my, my, playing my, fav my favorite Tales game. We were talking about Tales earlier. <laughs> we were. Welcome, welcome. Anyone a fan of Tales is welcome in their house. <laughs> but yeah, no, I was just like, wait a minute. I'm very observant with these things. But yeah, um, Astra also uses his uh, account to chat yeah, as well. Yeah, I have my own account so that uh, Or and I can talk separately. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if you guys like um, if you guys like duo channels, go check out um, Osori Code. They are absolute, absolute cuties. Maze and Molly. I've watched a couple of their streams. They're really fun to interactive. And I know they, and they also had um, new model designs recently. Which, they're really good. You would like them too, Astra, actually. Mm, maybe we should draw them. Yeah. No, it's weekly. it's really cute. Um, I know they did. They added, They recently edited a really good edit of like uh, like a Magical Girl Inspire transformation between their maid outfits and to their the newest outfits. And I thought it was really, I thought it was really cool. That's, that's pretty cool. That's a cool way to debut new outfits. Yeah. Also, I recognize Sailor Moon transformation muse, and I'm just like, yes. <laughs> I recognize a lot of those, and I'm just like, yep. Yep, I know that. I know that. <laughs> but yeah, I know, like, we're always supporting, like, fellow duo streamers, especially. Cause yeah. it's, a, it's a Bob. Oh, no. oh yes. <laughs> I don't know why that's there, but, uh, that's, that's fine. My, uh, sound is for some reason over at the chat. So I'm just gonna put that right here. But yeah, like, yeah. We are, but yeah, we're, we're pretty chill for the most part of that. But yeah, um, Sylvie, if you need to get, if you need to get some rest, feel free to do so. We really appreciate you trusting us with our community. And also giving lots of love to the Tail series. You love the game? Nice, Sue. Yeah, Abyss is my favorite Tales game, for sure. It really does hold a special place in my heart. Um, yeah. It's really nice, and there's a lot of other favorites that I enjoy the most. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but yeah, I hope everyone enjoys the stream. Hopefully everyone takes it easy. And if you need to get some rest, Sylvie, again, please feel free to do so. Don't feel don't feel the pressure to stick around. But yeah, we really do appreciate each and every one of you. Yeah. And those of you who want to get to know us a little bit better, um, I do tarot reading. I haven't done tarot reading in a while because one, I'm taking it easy, and two, I'm recovering from small illness. And Astra does art. So if you guys like some art, go check out Astra. In fact, he is yep. doing a very SSR stream of art in the morning or Eastern time afternoon. 
So I hope you guys look forward to that. Yeah, so yeah. So I guess if we're talking about upcoming streams. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, RP, go ahead. <laughs> normally we would be doing it tomorrow uh, <laughs> evening, but instead Aura uh, took that slot. So uh, I'm going to try doing something with that I only did normally years ago, which is a early Saturday stream. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll be a different time slot than usual. So I probably a lot of you guys might not be able to catch the stream, but... Uh, um, uh, you know, um, I will, you know, we'll save the time lapse and everything, and hopefully, maybe we'll see some new people that uh, um, that might be interested in in art in my art. Yeah, um, he's talked about it before. So those of you that don't know, um, like Astro said, he has he usually he used to actually do morning type streams a while back. And yeah, uh, so, we're not shy to say. Go ahead. I'll let you say no, that. No, yeah. So so what I used to do, I used to do a series um, where uh, we would get up in the morning and we would watch the newest episode of... Uh, oops, sorry. Um, we would watch the newest episode of uh, My Little Pony together. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Mm -hmm. um, and then I would and then I would draw a, uh, a screenshot from that episode. Yeah. Um, and I did, like... I did that for I think quite some time. Yeah, I was trying to think of which season I started doing that. Do you uh, did you actually like watch the episode on your uh Picarto stream or you just watched it and then turn on your stream? Uh if I got up early enough, um uh if I got up early enough then then we would watch it together. Uh, mm. but otherwise, yeah, I would usually start very soon after the episode ended. Oh, okay. Um, usually I was, uh, excuse me, um, I was uh, nice. multi-streaming with Lumi. Yeah, you were. And a couple of other people at that time, too. Yeah. But yeah, it's just like, it's, it's yeah, it's going to be really interesting. And for a few people that were OGs, kind of nostalgic in a way. So hopefully people look forward to it. Yeah, I imagine we'll probably see Dom and Moon Red there because that's they were there for my uh, you know early morning stream. Yeah, quite a few. I mean, it's also kind of friendly Eastern time because yeah. with nine AM it'd be noon, so yeah, so, so I and, think it'll be somewhat decent. Yeah, so hopefully, uh, yeah, yes. hopefully people enjoy that. If if it works out well, then you know maybe we'll continue doing that. If not, I'll probably go back to doing art on the Friday slot. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I can adjust if needed, but uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see how it goes um, for sure. And uh, yeah, that's we're gonna that's where we're gonna be. Like we're gonna take some things one step at a time. We're gonna see what explore, see what we can explore, and just have a good old time there. I'm just you know, like I said, I'm definitely gonna be focusing on Metal Gear, and I will be bringing back some tarot. I do have some ideas including like uh redeems because i got enough i think i got enough feedback to where i have an idea of how to approach things from there and i think some of you might be happy on that <laughs> i think some of you will be happy about some of the results that i have in mind and uh hopefully we will incorporate these one way or another just stay tuned the future is looking pretty bright indeed indeed <laughs> yeah um, but yeah, I, I'm not as, I'm not, I, I don't know about Astro, but I'm not as worried about how we approach because I feel like it's also taken the time we've reflected and we've taken the time to like, you know, talk about these things and just yeah. see like, uh, you know, what was our strengths? What was our weaknesses? What would we have to do or any other stuff? Just reflect basically. And then we just you know, yeah. learn a little bit more about ourselves and we're just like, you know what? We've done this and that. Let's just, yeah. you know, wipe the slate clean and just just do it. <laughs> yeah, we, we gotta keep trying new things in order to figure out how to improve our content. Right now we can't really change our content much. I mean, we could. We could try doing different things, but, you know, as something as little as changing a time slot could be the difference in, in maybe helping us grow a little bit maybe but we'll see we'll see to say the least yeah never say never 
Never say never, never say never. But yeah, at the end of the day, we're still us. We're still yeah. chilling. We're still chilling. Still chilling. Still do what we gotta do. That's all we can do. That is all we can do indeed. Um, that said, um, I know this was discussed earlier. Even though it was like, you know, some fun little, some fun little things. Same old astronaut. Exactly. Um, but definitely do, um, support us with the, uh, da, 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 da. definitely support us with the, um, advance thing. Cause it will help us in the future. And we can promise you there's going to be some cool things if you help support. But you're not yeah, obligated. <laughs> There's a lot of those going on. There's a lot of cool things. There's a lot of new stuff. Would highly recommend. And uh, consider all the good stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, I know some of you are uh, chilling. So we're going to be chilling with you. If you don't yeah. mind. <laughs> are we calling it in? Uh, we can just chill and just, you know, talk about a few things. Just to like wind down a little. All right. Uh, what what are what are, what's uh, some things you wanna to talk about still? Um. Honestly, I kind of find it funny that everyone's now having me get into gumpla, and I will admit it's been a lot of fun. It's a decent hobby. Yeah, I've learned gumpla. I've learned more. Uh, it's still cool about half the year so far. I learned how to read the natal charts i've learned gumpla i've uh what else have i learned actually i feel like i learned quite a few things to be honest i don't know what though I how think... many natal chart readings have you done quite that's a... not really a thing you regularly offer quite a bit actually mm. i did the natal chart streams remember two of them so i did a lot uh, yeah. i did quite a bit and i studied Definitely. and i learned more okay i don't think anyone's landed on the rare natal chart reading when i did the astrology wheel but uh, hey, who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll do I'll do more of that. I can do more like uh, I'll do more horoscopes at some point. And yeah, I haven't done one of those in a while. I can do those for sure. And I guess I'm just looking forward to like learning new stuff. I still want to learn more like uh, games like Apex. I just need oh, to make the, I need to make time for that. But I just I don't know. I'll see. Oh yeah, and I gotta also arrange the my cover project soon. Well, I have everything I need. I just need the mixing, and that's it. Oh yeah. Well, I guess we should get on that while it's still kind of relevant. Not really, but. Well, well, I'll I'll take care of the I'll take care of those kinks. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. You know, there's no point in worrying about like those kinds of things. So just do what you can, and just you know, just get it out there. Yeah. Let things handle themselves. Oh yeah. Um. Once again, guys, thank you so much for checking out our shorts, checking out our content. Please feel free to spread those around. Please, heck, feel free to even make your own version of clips of us because that's going to help, especially with the algorithm, as well as, like, funnel all these moments into our content. So please, you're totally fine making clips of your own with us if you want, or even shorts. It's totally fine. Um, it would really, it would really mean a lot. Whatever social media you want, we got a lot of them. We got Instagram, we got our TikTok. We're trying to focus a little more on YouTube shorts and Instagram. Just a little bit more. Um, Astra is certainly a master of Reddit. At least out of the two of us, he's way better at Reddit uh, than I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm handling our Reddit relations. And by that, I mean my one post a week on the virtual YouTuber subreddit. It's mostly our. Have you thought about posting memes here and there? Like making I sketch I see, memes? I see. Like, I you do know? see a lot of... Go ahead, sorry. I mean, I, I was about to say, I do see a lot of people posting memes. That's how, like, like Pom grew a bit of a community with her memes. That's also how she um, got partnership. Yeah. Because she posts a lot of... Everybody. That's so funny, because there was, like... You know all those you, those threads about, like, how to grow as a content creator? Um, there is a, a thread that Pom retweeted, and I thought it was really interesting, and it doesn't feel like... Like, there was a lot of actually good information. Like, it doesn't really tell you, like... It doesn't 
it didn't feel off to me. It just felt like it felt right. And it felt like, hey, I I can understand. I understand. I'm listening. It's it's kind of motivating kind of thing. Like, it doesn't make you feel like, oh, you got to do this and that. Or, hey, you can't. Hey, you just make content. Like, all that stuff. Like, it's just like, great. Can we get more, like, can we have a more academic explanation, a conversation with it? But it's really all about just, like, spreading yourself out there. And just going around, like, making content around other places. Because that's going to funnel into uh, into people watching your streams. Yeah. And I feel like that's really important. Yeah, but like I worry, like if we put a lot of uh, a lot of co uh, effort into that, that it's going to take away from our main content. I think it's just I think we have a good balance of how that works because you like you said yourself earlier, like we're still experimenting and we're still checking what works and what doesn't work. So, I think it's still safe for us to like you know test the waters out, and I think we have, and I think it's kind of working we just gotta keep growing into it bless you thank you um hey yeah. getting those vague explanations of what i'm doing yeah same honestly <laughs> same <laughs> same i am i'm literally the type of person whether it's like on content or on like uh or when i'm dealing with work i just want a simple answer simple exclamation what do i gotta do do this cool done that's all yeah. i need i mean i mean the problem with the easy answers is that there really isn't an easy answer no and, there's uh, not most of the time the answer has to be like relevant to the situation oh yeah absolutely um, it's not oh yeah i'm not definitely denying that i think it's just more like if you happen to like it depends on the circumstances no doubt about that but if there's like a simple situation like for example um if you were to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you would just ask, you would just ask like, hey, do you have any more peanut butter uh, for to make the sandwich? And if you were to say like, I don't know, that's not really giving an answer. <laughs> I just yeah. want a yes or no answer. Do we have peanut butter or not? And if yeah. you say no, okay, cool. I'll just use something else or go to the store and get more. If it's yes, great. Can I have some? That's the kind of thing that you want to keep in mind. Or, like, any other commissions, for example. Like, I'm pretty sure you've had plenty of commissions where you're just like, hey, this is the sketch. Is there anywhere you, is there anything you like improvement? And then when people are just replying to you, like, well, it's it looks pretty good. Or, like, hey, I, you draw however you want, and you're just sitting here like, but you're the, but you're the client. You need to tell us what you want. I mean, there are people who know what they want, and then there are people who genuinely, yeah. You know, let me draw what i want right and then there are people who say that they want me to draw what i want but really they but want then me to they want draw what to... they want yeah exactly they expected me to read my, their mind or they expected what i wanted to draw as the same yeah. as what they wanted from me exactly so it's just i think it just depends on the circumstances itself but you're absolutely right it does like it it's like it's like a double-edged sword sometimes so so there is there is those factors to keep in mind for sure. <laughs>